<clears throat> All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it is a big day. It is a big day because today is Thursday. And uh, we all know how we feel about Thursdays in this chat, do we not? We clap for them. Why? I actually don't know. I, I don't know where the lore started from, and I'm kind of too afraid to, to admit it at this point. But luckily, everyone's not here right now. Only the VOD watchers will call me out in the comments. Hey! Here we go. Actually, someone left a really funny comment on a recent video. They said Shady lives his entire life on a Thursday afternoon in 1912. And I really enjoyed that comment. It was it was top tier comedy to me. Uh, what's going on? D curves legal. Good morning. Charizard Magnus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Michael. Good morning. Chalk. Good morning. Yo, purple. Thank you for the two pound super chat. That's the top super chat of the day. You stole that. Uh, Daniel links to the four months as well. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Can't explain my excitement for dudes being dads. It's dads being dudes. But I'm really excited uh, for it as well. I am excited. Uh, it'll be a good time. It'll be a great time. A soul link? Are you kidding me? John, thanks for the 12 months of support. I appreciate it a ton. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, good morning, Evan. Good morning, Ke uh, Kaiser. Mark from 1912. Good morning. World, good morning. Xavier, good morning. Uh, Streeter, good morning. Uh, Pratyush, good morning. It's Victory Raid. Victory Raid, baby. That's right, because today's stream is sponsored by Raid. Nope. Meow. Meow, indeed. Purple Fire. Meow, indeed. Uh, good morning, Thea. Good morning, Stardust and Moth. How many times do we get to see Brock in this Soul Link? Twice. On the, on, on the first time, and then the rematch, and that's it, because we're beating it first try. All right? I mean, this was perfect prep for me, right? This was a dex. I, I'm pretty sure the soul link is dex nav as well. Dylan has the rule set. I'm, I'm just, I'm just the second dad. I'm just the tall dad, and I'm there as long as he wants me. He purposely branded the channel, so you know, you know, what I mean, like, I mean, it's collaborative effort. But let's be honest, I, he's gonna replace me, right? He's gonna find a shorter, better looking father. Morning, Quinn. And he's just gonna, he's gonna get rid of me. He's gonna give me my severance pay of like 47 yen, and we'll be good. We'll be good. <clears throat> good morning, Dylan. Morning, Alexandra. Good morning, Dustin. COVID insomnia got you good? Yo, I'm so sorry you have COVID. COVID sucks. COVID more like sucks, vid. Am I right? Demand Bitcoin severance pay? Sleepy never. So he's going to replace you with an older Vinny? Maybe. Maybe as soon as Vinny has a kid. Maybe I'm just a stand until Vinny makes a baby. That's probably what it is, right? 100%. Morning magic. Tasso, good morning. Hope you guys are all doing well. My beard is extra bushy today because my beard brush was in my backpack from my travels. Didn't have it when I got on the shower. And if I don't brush after the shower, it's over over. It's over over. Uh, the ankle. Have you guys seen the ankle yet? Did I ever show you guys what it looked like? I'll show you what it looks like right now. This is for free. Can you guys see that? Look at them bruises, though. You guys thought I was faking it. Yeah, but I kept the toes covered. You have to pay for those, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah, the ankle's pretty rough. It's, it's in pretty rough. Honestly, the pain is not that bad anymore. It's not that bad anymore. But it was, pre it was pretty rough for a couple days. <sighs> I told you guys on Tuesday that our, our Monday, whenever we streamed, that I had my swollen ankle. You harlot. That's crazy. <laughs> what a crazy word. <laughs> Ghosty flame, what an insane word. Yeah, I mean, it looks much better now than it did on Tuesday. I'll tell you that. It looks much better now. Much, much better. Thank you, Like Lori. Good morning. $50 super chat comes through. No, there was, the, was there a $50 super chat? No, there wasn't. What are you talking about? Oh, for the feet. I got you. That's comedy. Okay. Um, so today on the agenda, today feels like a Monday, even though it's a Thursday. It's really weird. Today, we're going to see if we can get through all of Victory Road. We're not going to throw, and we're not going to go qu too quick, but I'd love to get through all of Victory Road. Um, and tomorrow we have Baldur's Gate at 2 p.m. with my sister. So, yo, Princess Glacier, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. No toes. How many names do you have on the list? I can check for you. 
Ba boo boo beep bo ba boo ba. Uh, princess. One, two, three, three. You have three. Am I all ready for Christmas? Oh yeah, totally. So uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow with uh, Inez Likes Dragons at two. We might have a Radical Red stream before that, but honestly, like it's weird because it's a Friday, so I would love to be able to just go to the Elite Four tomorrow, but that's so much pressure, and if I lose, it's going to ruin Baldur's Gate for me. Toes, please. It's going to ruin Baldur's Gate for me. On the list? Smile. Hey, I've got uh, galvanized iron hands in my run. Wondering if Return would be better than Plasma Fist. I'm pretty sure Return would be better than Plasma Fist. Isn't Galvanize a 30% increase? Plasma Fist is base 120. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Did you guys hear that? Uh, Alex Otter, thank you for the five. Appreciate that a ton. Uh, Alex Otter, you have one. Let me see. I think you have one name left on the list. No, it's one, two, three. So one, two, three. You have three names left. Three names left, three names left. Okay, so let me close all these uh, NDA tabs before I accidentally leak something that'll get me in trouble. And uh, let us, I guess let's jump into Pokemon. Yeah, cause like I don't, I, it depends. If we get through Victory Road within an hour, which I don't think we will, um, then we'll, we'll have to do Victory Road today. We'll have to do Lily for today. Cause my plan is to stream until about 1 PM. Then I'm going to finish a Radical Red episode for members only. Get that up. Cause I've been missing a few episodes. I did let the Discord know this morning that we will be back on track. And the episodes will be like 40, 45 minutes each, um, for the next few ones. And then, no time. Um, also, do I have any names on the list? Thank you for that. And then I have a meeting at two. So, and then I have my father-in-law's birthday today. So it's kind of just nonstop, man. Everything's nonstop, but it's all good things. It's all good things. I'm dying on the inside, I promise. Okay. Uh, let's play Pokemon. The fake outs do so much damage. I believe it. Oh my gosh, Galvanize fake out. You're right. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Okay, so <clears throat> let's jump right into the prep. Let's not even let's not even waste your time, chatters. And not let's not waste mine either. Okay. Uh the first trainer is Naomi. Naomi's bugged, apparently. And what I would like to do, I honestly would like rocks for this fight. I straight up would love rocks for this fight. Uh, Captain Obvious starting out our our streams back with a 10 gifted. Seriously, Captain, thank you so much for being the first one to murder Vegeta today. I appreciate that a ton. Are there any Dodgers? Are there any Dodgers at all? Um, we could teach Stealth Rock to Pedro, and I think Pedro can actually, you know, sustain Moss Hole damage. Let's actually do a quick Calc here. Uh, Avalug is Suian, because this we've learned this thing is kind of a boss. I'll make sure we're on normal mode, though, because otherwise the rest of my Calcs will be ruined. Avalug, 85, Moss Hold. Uh, pop, pop, okay, yeah, 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 All right, absolutely, absolutely. We're probably gonna get you turned on, actually. If we get you turned on, though, who do you go out into? Honestly, no one. Literally no one. I don't even think you have the gall to, to U-turn. I have no idea what TM Stealth Rock is, so we're just gonna have to take a gander here. Yo, thank you so much for the one month, Alex. Appreciate that a ton. Could have sworn it's been a couple months. I don't know. Uh, whenever I'm doubting computers, I realize computers are probably doubting me, you know? Uh, we are going to get rid of probably sub for this fight. Actually, if I go defensive. Yo, the top super chat, Brendan. Appreciate that a ton. Throw in Thursday. Right. If I go defensive. Oh, this is big, actually. Do I need EQ for this fight? EQ does nothing for me. Okay, I can actually sub frame one if I go defensive. That's a massive, massive discovery. Everyone say massive. That's crazy. I feel like Druby right now. We're gonna go Impish. Yeah, I don't have stamina, unfortunately, but it's okay. We can sub frame one just in case he U-turns. 
Uh, then the only thing I really need is I need to make sure Pedro can one shot Veluza with something. Because the worst thing would be if Veluza comes in with a U turn and I can't one shot you. Let's just see what Rock Slide does. Uh, it doesn't one shot you. Okay, it's a little scary, honestly. What's the strongest move Pedro can learn? I don't think Skull Bash is gonna one-shot you. Can I get like a, oh, I get Crunch. Okay, hold on. Yeah, exactly, it's, it's, it's bugged right now. So Crunch, Crunch into Ice Shard uh, has a really good chance of doing the trick. Okay, so we should be fine with the strat. We should be fine with the strat because here's what we do. We will, um, we will sub, we will stealth rock, we will crunch and we will ice shard. And there's pretty much no chance. If I sub any U-turns, we won't stealth rock, obviously. If he, go, if he goes out into the Veluza, we will not stealth rock. Yo, that's awesome, chalk blocks, let's go. I love to hear that. Thank you for the, for the five spot, appreciate that. Um, I'd say, and we have, and, and, and we have the crunch for Greninja, uh, for Shedinja, so that's very good. Uh, for Shedinja switching, I'd like something that can't be burned, and that, or that doesn't mind being burned at the very least. Uh, actually, I think that Volcanion is a perfect Shedinja switching. Yo, with the tip, thank you. Yo, Nathan, thank you so much for the top super chat of the day. Thank you very much. That is very, very kind of you. Um, Hydro Steam. Oh, you learn Hydro Steam? That's so cool. I'm never landing a Hydro Pump. I don't want explosion. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go Excel Rock because it's super effective on the Shedinja as well. Steam Pump. There we go. That's the move I want. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I want to get Steam Pumped every Thursday afternoon. Are you kidding me? Okay. Excel Rock over Ice Shard, and it's also not resisted by the Veluza W.com. Okay. So, uh, we just need a fire type move on you. You have to learn Flamethrower by level up, right? That's actually crazy that you don't. Got to share the love this morning. Hey, thank you so much. Another. Keep up the inspirational work. Thank you, Nathan. For That's very kind of you. I may have on the list. Can you mix it up with Red Beard, Wookie, and a shout out for my daughter Maggie? Keep it shade. All right, let me look for your name real quick. Wait, I don't think you, Na Rollings. You might have already used up your name on the list. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't have any of you. I'm so sorry. It makes you feel awful. Recently discovered um, Pokemon cards with thank you so friends. much again, Nathan. My time has come. Your time has come. Can you have an explosion self-destruct only run? No. No. Unless they don't die when I do that. Otherwise, I mean, but then is that even, what, what does that even mean? What does that card do? I'm also going to teach this thing Will-O-Wisp. Low key, high key. think that's a genius move for this battle. See, this is why it might take all day to do Victory Road. I think there's like nine battles for us Can to do. Can you guys hear that helicopter? At. No, we can't. Nathan! All right, Nathan, I'm gonna combine those two to put you a name on the list, absolutely. Thank you so much, Nathan. Uh, between your between your super chat, we're just gonna go ahead and call it. We're gonna round up for you. Um, I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna put all these names next to it and then choose whatever fits. Wedbeard, Wookie, and Maggie. Shout outs to your daughter, Maggie. Uh, claps in chat, that was very kind of you, Nathan. Can you have an in-green only run? I can have a ban you only run if you'd like. We could just do it. We could just do one of those. That would be great, right? That'd be pretty fun. Don't you think? Sturdy explosion, new meta facts. Um, we're gonna get rid of hydro steam actually, because I'm not. Um, actually, it's just. You know what? Yeah, I don't have sun synergy right now. It's fine. Okay, uh, that should be pretty good. Let's make you modest, obviously, Robert. I don't. Know. Oh, you're timid right now. Timid's actually not bad. I wonder if I should run flame charge. I think Flame Charge is actually good for this battle. I changed my mind. Yeah, I changed my mind. Where are you, Flame Charge? I must have passed you. Yo, Killian, thank you for the seven months! 
Yes, no worries, uh, Killian. Uh, you're completely within your reign and rights to ask about that. It'll be coming back today with a little, the episodes are going to be a little bit longer to make up for our missed episodes the past couple days. Uh, I, I, TLDRs, I've been crazy busy, and I, and I, the sprain on my ankle has kind of kept me upstairs more than downstairs, uh, just a bit. So I, it's, it's just is what it is. Uh, I thank you guys for understanding. Uh, let's pee pee up our steam pump. My wife will be thrilled. Here we go. All right. What battle will be doing? The one that's on our screen. This is Victory Road Battle 1. Absol, play Rough Knight, Slash Sucker Punch, and Psycho Cut. Ideally, something that resists Dark and Fairy. Uh, Steel Type will resist the Fairy, but unfortunately, uh, well, actually, Steel Type is probably really good here. We're just going to go with Melmetal. I'm not even going to think about it. Melmetal, Defensive, Double Iron Bash, you'll be Gucci. It's, it's, it's literally fine. It's absolutely fine. Uh, then an actual Veluza switch in would be nice. Something that can sucker punch. Basically anything that can KO with sucker punch. Um, because if it goes for fillet away, I need something to one shot. Uh, oh my gosh, mandatory! Yes, that was the mandatory donation alarm for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, bull sucker punch and black glasses. I just want to see if slacking can do it. Slacking cannot do it. That is wild. All right, how about um, how about first impression Slitherwing? I mean, that'll definitely do it. Let's be honest. That'll definitely. That'll that'll do. That'll do. He loses 30% after fly away. Oh, does he really? I didn't realize that. I'll still go Benno. Let's give Benno a shot, you know? Let's give Benno a nice shot. I do, I will though, I will absolutely put flame charge on this thing. Because I want it to have coverage for the uh, Shedinja. I don't really want the Shedinja to ever come in for free free. So same thing with Bonin. Bonin needs a move to hit the Shedinja. So let's go teach, let's see if you learn Fire Punch. Yo, why does Volcano look amazing? I almost asked what game is Volcanion from. Volcanion did not get enough love. I'm gonna say it. Volcanion should have been a bigger part of X and Y. Uh, Veto, thanks for the 999. Long time lurker, first time chatter. W, dude, thank you. Volcanion got zero love. I know. It's the worst. You don't get fire punch. Okay. Uh, do you get like rock slide or anything like that, my dude? I know I'm prepping real like a lot for like what might be considered a baby battle, but I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it. All right. Uh, then we just need a Galvantula switch in. So electric, so special wall would just be uh, Blissey. Uh, Blissey with flamethrower. I think it gets flamethrower. Why does Blissey get flamethrower if it gets it? I don't, is it just, uh, does she spit? She literally spits, that's crazy. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Thunder Wave for this one and go with Flamethrower instead. Just so, once again, the Shedinja can't wall me. And then I would say in the back line, let's bring the Slack. Actually, Pheromos is really good in this fight. I just need coverage for Shedinja. And then Pheromos is really good. Uh, I would say let's get rid of Ice Beam for just hidden power. Long time lurker. First time chat. Thank you again for the I super had to chat. I my dog down yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mentally, but I wanted to say thanks for all amazing content and GL on Victory Road. Thank you so much. Our hearts in chat. That, that really sucks, man. That really, really sucks. Uh, Veto. My heart goes out to you, my dude. Uh, that is our team. That is our team. Let's try to be entertaining now. Don't get depressed. Don't get depressed. Don't get depressed. Okay. Let's do Pokelink. Avalog. Volcanion needs an item Shedingus. Uh, Melmetal. Uh, Slither Wing. Blissey. And Farah. All right. Let's just give Robert my angel. Let's give Robert my angel something. Honestly, low-key, Robert staying itemless for the uh, for the Poltergeist. Because it's a big brain play. 
That's a big brain play. Um, let's just give... Oh, I didn't bring slacking, never mind. Beep! Yo, Daniel, thanks for coming two months of the Platinum Penguin. I appreciate that a ton. Wait, what Mega is that? Is this Slowbro? Oh, Scizor. Ooh. Hey, Purple Dragon, thank you for the five spot. Appreciate that a ton. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Slacking has not seen the light of day since like six badges. He just, dude, I don't know what to tell you, brother. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why I'm bad at using slacking, but I am. I am bad at using slacking. I will still always catch it in case he gets a borked ability, but without a borked ability, I'm bad at using slacking. I don't know why. I will not be balding today. No, I've got I unfortunately I've got to play catch up with the members only series. Morning, I've got everyone. a meeting to go I'm to. My pet's heads are falling off. I prep to teaching my class later this morning. Yo, dude. Good luck on the run, Shade. When you're prepping for class, please take your time with your damage calcs. Trust me. You'll regret not. Okay, here we go. All right, frame 1 we sub, right? I didn't make a pet joke, what are you talking about? Okay. We click sub. All right, we see bullet seed, perfect. That's super effective, by the way. Oh, wait a minute. That's more than a sub. Did I throw? Did I not put lefties on you? Oh, I'm actually throwing, okay, cool. Um, let's set up Stealth Rocks. Wow, and he got five, that's crazy. Um, a three hit doesn't break it. It's not worth going for again. I didn't actually bring like a true Moss Hold switch in though, which is definitely a dagger. Um, I can see how much Benno will do, but I have a feeling it won't Oko. Yo, it's thank you so much, Chan's Santos. Birthday. Can you say hey, Chanem? Hey, Chanem! Actually banned that guy. I can't believe I just fell for that. I'm so tilted. That's actually crazy. Um, I, I'd stay with I'd stay with Pedro and just like crunch. I think. I really can't believe I didn't put lefties on you. Oh, it does no damage. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me, dude! There's no way. All right, I have to go into the bone in now. That's right. We have the rocks up, so a lot of the back, a lot of the back line is is weakened, right? Galvantula, no sash. Shedinja just goes down to rocks. Um, I can go for a double iron bash here. All right, we're gonna take a lot of damage. I'm just gonna speed through it. It's fine. Really wasn't that bad. Okay, Veluza comes out immediately now. Party wants a Thunder Wave, but the correct play is just to go out into Benno because you're going to fillet away. Yep. Nice and bugged move. This guy's a cheater. Oh, wait, Sharply. Maybe it's not plus six. It says Sharply. It didn't say drastically. Oh, that is the bug that it doesn't show it. Oh. It says plus two, but it's actually plus six. That's crazy. Um, Do you one shot me with Psycho Cut? I might be able to just stay in and leech life.
Oh yeah, play rough. What am I saying? <clears throat> okay, um, let's go out into Bonin on the play rough. What's going on, Levi? AOT ending though. Yo, Gustav, thanks for being a platinum penguin. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. Do you think I should restart the run because my game is crashing uh, every time at a non-optional trainer? Um, There's got to be a reason that's happening, though. I'm not going to lie. Does Galvantula actually survive this? I just can't see it. Even Oh, you do. Okay, well, that's crazy. We're going to the Blissey. Uh, I am going to teleport here. Is there a chance you, like, don't switch in something? Nah, I'm going to Flamethrower. There's no shot. All right, Absol comes back in. Uh, this could be Play Rough or Psycho Cut. We're going to the Bone in either way. Unite Slash me. That's actually crazy. I'm going to Protect here for extra lefties because that was a crit. It's Unite Slash again. W, and then we go for the Double Iron Bash. 230. Nice. Okay. Awesome. All right. Trainer one done. Trainer one done. One and done, baby. One and done, baby. All right. We have Cyclazar. We have Dragons.deck. Cyclazar with Shed Tail, Knock Off, Body Slam. Okay. So Shed Tail reduces your HP by 50%, right? If we see Cyclazar here. Is the, an ice shark? Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted to see. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, first of all, why don't we give you? Actually, we keep extra belt on you for this one, and let's make sure you let know ice shard. Because that is borked. Because you're gonna try to shed tail, and I'm gonna tell you no. Uh, let's see though. Expert. Expert belt makes it do 70 to 84. So if I go adamant. If I go adamant, even after citrus, you do, you're you not able to, you know what I could just do instead of doing this and being stupid? I could just go Ferramosa and pretty much Oko you, right? Like, let's, let's be real for a second here. Ferramosa, 85, plus one, adamant, U-turn, brick break. All right, what swaps into the Brick Break? The Crobat does. Okay, that's a dagger for sure. That's a dagger for sure. Um, I really wish you could learn some sort of move that would make me happy. This bug in fighting is resisted by the Crobat. I literally might run Stomp. No, you just run return at that point. Let's be honest. Honestly, return probably does a ton. Yo, Steve, what's going on? Yeah, I don't trust triple axle. I'm going to miss. I could just go back to ice beam like I was doing before. Which is fine. I mean, I would never stay in on the crowbat anyway. I would literally never stay in on the crowbat. It's a, it's kind of irrelevant. I would never stay in on the crowbat. You know? Uh, but let's just see, actually, let's see this, because maybe instead of Brick Break... Oh no, Ice Beam does nothing. Never mind. Why does it do nothing? Do you have a Yachi Berry? Just Citrus Berry. This is super effective. I have 137 special attack. I have 105 special defense, though. That's pretty good. Okay. We're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill. Um... Flygon probably goes down to an Ice Beam, though, so it might still be worth running. Flygon, uh, Ice Beam, Oko's it. Cool. That's cool. Even when I'm, uh, let's go, even when I'm adamant. That's dope. So we'll run it. Uh, Kingler, we Oko. Wow, actually, Veramos is a beast in this battle. It's kind of crazy. I would say for the, yo, Snowy, thanks for the four months. Can we get a like spike, please? And thank you, apparently. Thank you. I'm looking at Obama Snow. Am I actually? Oh, that's, what? No, I'm not. Why am I getting baited? Oh, was it? Hold on. I see what you're saying now. I understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, I promise. Okay, Brick Break completely Oko's. Ice Beam doesn't Oko. If I was modest, though, it does. So honestly, modest Ferramosa is the play here. 
That way I can still run Focus Sash in case things get dicey. And we Oko the Cyclozar and the Crobat. Well, we, I don't know if we Oko the Crobat, but we do a lot of damage to the Crobat. Yeah, we do a lot. The Crobat can't come in for free. Okay. Um, Flygon, we just, you know, we just get scared. We need an actual switch in for Flygon, right? So, which is probably just Avalug, right? It, it is definitely just Avalug. Avalug is so broken, it's insane. Uh, then for the Crobat, we can actually use Blissewis. Because even with your nasty plotting, I'm assuming two Thunderbolts will take you out. Right? Um, and we can go either Shuka Berry or Air Balloon. We'll go Air Balloon, so I'm most likely swapping into a D-Dance anyway. Avalug is better than slacking. Honestly, I actually think that's not, I don't think that's cap. I think on average, Avalug will be better. That's crazy. Um, we, we don't go, well we, yeah, we go Bliss for Crobat. Uh, for Kingler, uh, a Mega Kingler even, Ice Hammer, Close Combat, Crab Hammer, Sword Stand. So something that can swap in an Oko, that will probably be Feromosa. If we look at Kingler, uh, you won't be level 83, you'll be level 81. And because of that Brick Break Oko, you don't have to run CC. I probably do run CC though. I don't, I don't run CC because apparently I can't run CC. Cool, 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 cool. Um, that's our Kingler answer as well. I guess, should I bring another one? There's really no reason to bring another one. We have our answer. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, bring the slacking as well as another body. Bring hammer arm in case you do get. Oh, you have earthquake. Eh, that's good enough. Actually, it's not gonna okay. I'll tell you that much. Whatever. Um. Actual Kingler answer. Maybe. What's going on, Beastly? It's Tudor. Gotcha. I'm not worried about it. Actual Kingler answer. We just want to resist water more than anything. You're going to SD though, which is really, really strong. Really, really strong. And then if I go with Swampert, I'm going to set up the rain for you. That's minus a sin. I could probably let Zara Aura take you out. Honestly. Uh, Gudra would go down to close combat, unfortunately. Let's go special Zara, though, because uh, Kingler's special defense is way, 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 way less. Way less, like incredibly so. So if we're gonna predict the SD, Honestly, it's not gonna matter, right? We're gonna go to the Kingler. No matter what, no matter what, we're going to the Pheromosa. There's no priority. If I have my Focus Ash intact, we're going to the Pheromosa. I'm just wasting time here. All right, and then for the uh, Hatterene, we can go with a Akaberry Bonin, and we'll be good. All right, that's our that's our, that's the Pokemon that we need. Uh, let's also just bring. Um, that priority is not going to matter much. This priority is not going to matter much in this fight. Um, Spring Toga Kiss because you're cute. All right, it's our team. Everyone say team. Uh, nothing much has changed except now we have the uh, Zor Zera Aura. And Volcanion has become Toga Kiss. Volcanion should just be Volcanion, dude. It's a good mon. Okay. Actually, Volcanion should just be Volcanion. Stonks when Papa. I'm taking a break from Stonks and focusing on work instead. Uh, just doing passive. I mean, it's five percent interest right now. Uh, the, the, there, there's no reason to take risks, in my opinion, in the stock market when you can get five percent interest right now. 
unless it was truly a really good buying opportunity, which right now it's, I would never call right now a good buying opportunity. Melmetal has awful special defense. That's true. That's very true. You're very smart. Luckily with an Akaberry, Mystical Fire is literally not going to take me out. So I think we'll be okay. Okay. Um, we just got to make sure that Avalug, did we teach you Ice Shard again? We did. Okay. Ice Shard is great. Um, I think we can teach you... Let's teach you EQ as well. Instead of Crunch. Because that'll be good for the Kingler if we get into a pickle. Although, I mean, if we're in that pickle, we already lost probably. Need an item on Volcanion? Not if I don't want one. You ever think about that? What if I don't want an item on Volcanion? Can you not just fly to Victory Road? I don't think so. Um, Let's give you... You're not weak to really anything that's going on in this team at all except for Earthquake. Let's give you an Air Balloon. Let's give you a Shuckerberry. There's no way we're going to be in that situation, Shady. Give you Lefties. No, I'll give you Wise Classes. Cool. All right, here we go. Everybody calls me Steely Phil. Alright, we know Ice Beam takes you out. I did the calcs, baby! Make sure I'm modest. Did I actually change that? It did. I'm so smart at video games. There's the Ice Beam. Goodbye, Cyclazar. I really hope you find your dad. Hello, watching this live, Salvatore. Excellent. All right, so this should be Hurricane. Okay, well, never mind. Um, I'm just going to U-turn here. Pretty confusing move for my opponent, for sure. Let's go out into Bone-In. I eat that very well. And then I can double Iron Bash for free. And I'm faster. Goodbye, Hatterene. All right. I almost want a Thunder Wave here, but truthfully, I have to immediately go on to my answer, which is going to be... Um, let me just make sure I one-shot. I do one-shot. I do one-shot. I'm going to show you guys, too. But I didn't I didn't calc Zara Aura, and part of me wants to go Zara first. Oh, you know what? I didn't give you Thunderbolt. I can't go Threadgill. I didn't give you Thunderbolt like an idiot. Okay, we, we, we go into Beast every time. He's got a beard, watch out, it's Sword Dance. All right, we're fine every time. We Brick Break, it Okos. I did calc for Modest Pheromos, it was right on my screen right now. Let's go! All right. Uh, I think we calc Ice Beam Okos. Mods. Mods. We dodge. Three! No confusion, no confusion. I just did this for content. He has no priority. No confusion. W. All right. And then finally, finally Flygon. Now this would be a sell if I don't actually check this, right? Like, I mean, it has to, it has to, Oko. Adamant, Ice Beam, that's fair, that's Avalog. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, level 81, Ice Beam, Oko's out the wazoo. You have no priority, um, yeah. Use Ice Beam again. There's no Yachi Berry, you have Life Orb. Make sure in the docks you have Life Orb. You have Life Orb. Okay, cool, we just Ice Beam. What? Sorry, did it scare you if you weren't watching? Tee <laughs> All right, 
Next battle. Bro, you actually did? Sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, so turn one, we could just go with the U-turn out the gate uh, against the Executor. That's kind of free. Mian Chao with fake out, close combat, U-turn, knock off. We need a defensive wall that can eat such hits. Um... Every generator as well, huh? It's kind of a dagger. Uh, knock off. Otherwise, if you didn't have knock off, you'd be Skeletor all day, every day. We could. Fluttermane's not a defensive wall, but I am immune to fake out in close combat, and I resist U turn and knock off is mid. Um, or or hear me out. We can come in with a pixie plate, Rostagno, and maybe Rostagno can Oko with priority. I guess we'll never know why the sparrow loves the snow. Uh, you will actually be, oh, you are actually level 84. Wow, crazy. Oh my goodness. That's kind of wild because the next battle has minus scale level two. And, you know, that's crazy. Um... Yeah, too much priority to rely on Feromosa with Focus Sash too much. Uh, otherwise, it'd be because you know, quick attack Oko's me. Ice Shard would do a ton. Fake out would break my Sash. So it's just all bad. It's all bad vibes. Uh, if a plus one Feromosa Brick Break takes out the Mian Chao, I could see me running Protect. Yeah, and it doesn't. I could go close combat, but even that scares me. I'd rather just swap into like Tapu Lele uh, and see if Training Kiss does the trick. It doesn't, so I'm sad about it. Uh, but you really don't do much to me anyway. So we're fine. Are we going E4 Deathless today? Uh, big doubt on that. All right, I don't I don't think I'm going to be doing... I don't think I will be doing um, E4 today. I'd be very surprised. Is there not a, a Pixie Plate? Pixie Plate? Ooh, Pixie Plate Modest? Nice. Okay, Pixie Plate Modest will do the trick. So, this will be my switch in for the Mian Chao. I just gotta level you up to your level 82. Okay, awesome. Um, then we need a pincer answer, which will probably be, you guessed it, Chapelberry Avalug with. Uh, wait, what, what happened? Why did it just. What just happened? With Excel Rock. I do want Excel I'm not gonna click Stealth Rock in this one, I don't have time. So we'll get rid of Stealth Rock for now. And let's make sure we give you Choppleberry. If I go Adam and Feromosa, it probably does Oko, right? Probably. But then I'm afraid of the pincer anyway, so it's not gonna matter. I don't, I don't need to worry about going for a sweep. I don't need to run back. It's just a waste of time to run back, you know? Uh, where are you, Chapel? Chapel my childhood. Chapel my childhood. All right, and then we're gonna go with, I would say, what other moves? Icicle Crash over Sub and Rock Slide over Earthquake. Not that I would stay in on the um, Cloister too much, but it's just in case. Uh, for the Don fan with Bone Morang, Ice Shard, Rock Blast, Knock Off with Technician. First of all, it's really cool that it has Technician. That's really, really cool. Uh, secondly, I don't really know what I want to use for this thing. Um. Yeah, Technician Bone Meringue is actually insane. Uh, we definitely, we kind of need to go with something that's immune to ground because that's so ridiculous. Or just something that can swap in with like an air balloon and, and outspeed an Oko. Is Volcanion faster? I have to imagine Volcanion's faster than a Dawn fan, right? Yeah, 
Okay, so let's go air balloon. And Steam Pump has to Oko. I would. I actually don't want to play video games anymore if Steam Pump doesn't Oko, but we'll, we'll calc it. Well, Canyon 85, is it called Steam Eruption in, in the real game? Steam Eruption. Don Fandel. Uh, yeah, Oko is very easily. Okay. Let's go Air Balloon Volcanion. That way, if it gets popped on the switch in, uh, we will still be good because we outspeed. I want one more option of that as well, um, which might be tyrannical. I think. Yeah. Uh, we could. Yeah, we'll go tyrannical. Why change moves? Uh, it's just because character limits in the old games, that's all. So they have to like make it fit by changing the move. And sometimes even like when it's doing the actual like reading, then your move will be different than your move selection. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of brazy. Um, okay. So is scald, scald from Blastoise should still take you out, right? Like at the end of the day, it might not. Uh, Blastoise, blank set, 85, Scald. It might not be strong enough, Don Fan. Yeah, it's not strong enough. Dang, okay. Sorry, Tyrannical, you're not strong enough. Surf won't be enough either based on the damage calcs. Uh, we just need a stronger Mon. Um... Yeah, if I'm Mega, then I don't have the air balloon, though, and that kind of defeats the purpose, but thank you for your L. <sighs> I really don't want to risk this, but I will calc it. Ice Beam. Okay, so then we're just gonna go Citrus Berry. We're gonna go Citrus Berry Nalo. Because it looks like Bone Meringue doesn't do a ton ton. And I don't want my Rock Blast to hit five times, snag a crit, and then with, I, a Citrus Berry would keep me alive. So we're gonna do that. Swamp, no, he hits physical. Well, I mean, he would be able to do it, but he, I don't know if he's faster. He probably is faster, he's a Swamper, it's whatever. We're fine. Um, and then Cloyster, I actually can pack the freeze dry on here as well. In the last five battles you've used Ablog. Ablog is broken, that's why. Um, I guess maybe we do go air balloon. You know, because we're almost always going to swap in on that, and having just full HP against Cloyster will be better. Um, and then I need an Axel Switcher for Cloyster, so something that can take those hits will hit on the special side. Yo, Luke, thanks for the 1999 Super Chat. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you. Uh, Cloyster's a little bit of a dagger, for sure. Once it shell smashes, we could go Choice Scarf Zera. Actually, let's see if we're faster than a plus two Cloyster. Oh, yeah. Yep. And let's make sure Thunderbolt will take you out. I am on my way. I can go the distance. I'll be there someday. I know every mile. Oh, Choice Scarf. There we go. Am I setting up rocks? I'm not setting up rocks. There's no Focus Sash on this team, so I ain't stressed about that. All right, let's do that. Did I just teach you Thunderbolt? I can't remember, probably not. Okay, Thunderbolt over Plasma Fist. Perfect, actually, a Volt Switch probably does it too. It's fine. Okay, or Gucci 9000 on that front, let me tell you that. Oh, this is a good, this is actually a good prep. Everyone say good prep. All right, we have uh, Caillou Rem. Canyon, Avalug, Tapu, Lele. Avalug might come to the Elite Four. It's just so thick. It's just so thick, dude. Oh, I got two heavy duty boots. 
Wow. 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 You think for that top super chat? I really appreciate that a ton. To look after my new baby. Finally get to catch the streams live rather than vods. Let's go. W. What's my favorite Don't Tapu? It shady. I really like Tapu Finny. Uh oh, I don't think this is the guy. This is not the guy. Um, but Ice Beam will okay you. Uh, Brick Break should definitely okay you. Uh, it's drizzling, it's drizzling. Alright, thankfully he was pathetic. I'm a big Finny fan. I actually don't think there's ever a run where I don't choose Hisui and Avalug now. We've 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 seriously been taught the truth about Hisui and Avalug. I'm pretty sure this I want that TM, but I don't know. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I don't know if there's a guide on that guy. I this must be our next opponent. I'm just scouting. I'm just scouting. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. Our plan is to U-turn here anyway, so we wouldn't be staying in. All right, so what do I want to bait then? There's not really something that I want to bait. I would say let's go out into... Um... Oh, let's think. Let's go out into... Let's go out into Nalo, because Nalo should bait me and Chow. Cool. All right, we're baiting the fake out. This is exactly what I wanted. Let's go out into Rastagno. I finally got it right! That's crazy. Oh, it goes for CC, that's fine. Even better. All right, something might switch in, but I doubt. I big doubt. Let's go Drain Kiss. I'm a little sad that I set up the rain for the Cloister with Liquidation, but it shouldn't matter. It should not matter. Yo, what's going on, Ryan? All right, Don Fan. <clears throat> this should absolutely be, I mean, this could be knockoff. But either way, it's fine. Ooh, we do have the rain up for a Bull Canyon, though, that's based. Okay. <clears throat> Big damage knockoff. And then we go Steam Pump. In the rain, by the way. All right, Pincer's here. <laughs> um, This is double edge every time. Every single time. As one, you won't eat a berry now. <sighs> How's it raining in the cave exactly? I sneezed and the rain happened. All right, double edge, just going on Supreme King. Uh, Double Edge is here. Let's go for, I mean, we go for Excel Rock every time. It might Oko. Probably should. It doesn't. All right, I got a Chapel. Gotta go Chapel. Gotta go Chapel. That is way more damage than it should be with Chapel Berry, I'll tell you that. It's all right, Pinsir's down. Pinsir is down. Now, this is where it gets a little dicey because Cloyster might go for liquidation here. I mean, my defense is through the roof, so it, I'm, I'm pressing X to doubt, but uh, the rain is gone. I'm at 121, so, so liquidation does not take me out, so you don't go for liquidation. 
I never stay in anyway, even though I'm at plus one. I always go out into our Choice Scarf Threadgill. Always, 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 always. Ooh. Cluster. All right, your white herb restores you. That's fine. We Thunderbolt here. All right, here we go. Uh, easy battle, easy life. Next prep, let's see if we have to leave the cave or not. Uh, we have a Mbalasum coming up. Max revive, what does that card do? So, Bellossum, I would assume that my U-turn will crush your family name. What? Oh, you're part fairy? Oh, so I go poison jab, is what you're telling me. I got you. I understand. Got it. Morning, Karma. All right, here we go. We have a little P-Jab down here. Teach that to Mosa Farah. Uh, we probably get rid of Ice Beam right now. A lot of grass types though. Fighting type moves are pretty buns here. Except against the Lopany. I think I'm just gonna think about this for a second. Um. So there's something really cheeky we could do. We could actually run. We could actually run Quiver Dance if we wanted to be super cheeky. We could run Quiver Dance. Um. But Moonblast Oko's me, so it's really not worth. And there's a focus sash on the Parasect, which is a dagger for sure. So let's just go P-Jab. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Ice Beam. We're just gonna U-turn, right? We're just gonna U-turn. So we're gonna Poison Jab the Bell Uh, and then we will Protect if the Lopany comes out, and then we will U-turn. Actually, the Quick Attack is kind of scary, but if I'm at full HP, I'll just U-turn anyway, who cares? Um, we'll U-turn, and I would say that Skeledurge comes for the Lopany, for sure. Uh, hopefully my dirge still has sub because that is absolutely the play here. Uh, we're gonna teach you sub right now. Oh, it is scrappy lopany, right? Oh, it's a dagger. All right, so we need to just go with the physical wall then, or like an actual resist. So we need to go with the steel type. So we go metal metal. Okay, we go metal metal. Oh no, close combat. <laughs> um, shoot. What can I do against this Lopany then? Uh, I mean, I guess we just go Chopple Melmetal. I can't use the ghost. I mean, we go chop. Let's just make sure Melmetal can Oka with double iron bash. I swap in on the fake out. And uh, then as long as I take a close combat from Lopany. Uh, oh, it does nothing. <laughs> uh, double iron bash. Adam and Oka is cool. All right. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to arena trap. I'm not going to arena trap, dude, dude. I'm sorry. It doesn't shine shine because I, I can get put to sleep. There's a quiver dancer happening. There's 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 way too much against me on this team. I don't know who you guys want me to call might against, but it sure as heck ain't the bell awesome. All right, where's Chapel, me father? Okay, nice. Um, that's our Lopany answer. Parasect comes in with a Spore. 
So we want someone that can eat all of that and not be put to sleep. Honestly, a large request, I know. A large request, I know. Isn't it level 84? It probably is, guys. If you think that, if you think that one level is gonna change the output of this, you're out your mind. Okay. So, Parasect has the Focus Sash, wants to go for Spore. Um, has Crab Hammer too, that's dirty. So we want to eat Leaf Blade, Leech Life, Crab Hammer. Crab Hammer. Crab Hammer. So we want to eat physical moves of the Grass and Bug variety. Um, that's gonna be Robert. And we're gonna give you the safety goggles so you can't be put to sleep. And we're just gonna flame charge you. I think once we flame charge, maybe um, Robert can KO Vile Plume and Amoongus, but it'll be tough. We'll find out. But either way, it does pretty well in general. Um. New Dragonite does also do very well here, actually. Ooh, Dragonite's so good. Yeah, I'm sorry, Volcanion. We gotta go Dragonite. Dragonite literally sweeps the back end of the team. It's too strong. It's too strong. One D dance and it's rich over. Uh, I do need the safety goggles back though, otherwise I, I'm selling. Okay. Uh, then as a backup, let's go with uh, Misty because Misty has Blazing Soul. So that's cool. I'll have priority and be able to rock, rock, rock. And by rock, I mean blaze. Uh, we will, I can't flare blitz. I want like fire lash instead of jump kick. And then I want to give you charcoal because that's the biggest buff you can get outside of life orb. A life orb will make the blazing soul go away. I probably don't need blazing soul now I'm thinking about it though. If you just lead D Knight Dragon as you see, Moonblast is gonna do so much damage and put me in a tough spot. So, between the fake out and what have you. Choice Band, well, uh, yeah, Choice Band would be the most, you're right, I'm sorry. A Dragonite, Dragonite will just do it. Dragonite will D dance in front of Parasect and then win. It's fine. Like the rest, the rest of this literally doesn't matter. We're gonna bring our uh, Zera Aura. Actually, I'm gonna bring my Dirge. Dirge likes a lot of these, and I'm going to bring my, um, I'm gonna bring my Archaeops. Go figure. Actually, let's bring Blissey. Blissey with a Chesto Berry. Just, just in case Dragonite falls, falls limber. You know? Okay. That should be our team. A little bit of spice, a little bit of ice, you know? Let's get Melmetal on this layout. We have the Pheromos, so let's get the Skeledurge. Let's get the Rapidash. And let's get that Dragonite, dude. Full layout change, basically. All right. Next battle. First, we gotta push a rock. That's true. Ice Pheromosa Modest. Uh, it was for the Ice Beam. It should it should be adamant for this fight. It's not gonna matter. I Poison Jab by one shot. It's fine. Uh, I just don't, I, I, I don't want to run all the way back until I have to, because we might need the Modest Pheromosa again. You know? Technically, you aren't using Revives or Poke Centers. I'm using Pokemon Centers, yeah. But I'm not like reviving my Pokemon when they die with Pokemon, with Pokemon Center. Uh, turn off Auto Run, see if I could dodge this. Cool. Oh, this is just Moltres. I actually don't want to check. I'm going to let this bird do what it wants to do. Why am I lagging? I don't know. I couldn't tell you, Hicken. Now, you don't have to push again. It permanently gets rid It permanently destroys that object. But thank you for your help. All right, here we go. You live today, bird. You're not real anyway. 
I was driving at home yesterday and I saw a bumper sticker that said, birds are real. And it was in the shape of a bird. And I, I thought it was laugh. I, ha. I laughed. All right, we poison jab. I almost misclicked. Watch, are there any birds in chat? Any birds in chat at all? I doubt it. Um, this is this should just be Spore. I'm gonna U-turn here. I'll protect the scout. It has no setup, right? Spore. Okay. I just U-turn. I can U-turn out into safety goggles. Uh, I say the only problem with doing this is that foul play might hurt a lot, and I'm not running protect right now. So that's a little bit of a dagger. Um, let me think. Oh man. <sighs> I'd say let's do this. Maybe I don't have the D dance. I mean I don't have the D dance right now, is what I'm saying. Um Dragonite. 85 adamants dual wing beats against Amoongus level 83 yeah it goes okay yo thank you dark aura for the 999 appreciate that a time we dual wing beat here I, I could have d-danced there I guess but I want the Lopini to be burned before we do any of that nonsense because Lopini should come in here yeah, and you're gonna go fake out. So here we can go out into our Ferramosa, obviously. <clears throat> Aren't you a bird, Mr. Pengen? Nope! I'm a Pengen! Okay. So I go double iron bash here. Because you're gonna CC, lower your defense, and double iron will do the trick. Yo, Seawolf, thank you for the 499. Appreciate it. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Pharamosa is cooked. Uh, now, it is either bird watching hello. your stream and definitely not your government agent that right. has tabs on you. Yep. I mean, tweet. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so we D-dance here. You go for Sludge Bomb. You don't get the P-word. You don't get the P-word. All right, well, now I have to get worried. Why did you have to do that? That's so toxic. Literally. All right, Dueling Beat takes you out, it's fine. Goodbye, goodbye! Down you go, procced every time. Every single time, the P-word procs. All right, but then we... It's shiny! Is it always shiny, chat? That's cool if it's not. I hope it's not. I just actually, that actually just happened. It's always shiny. Dang it. Okay. Not always. It's not always shiny? Wow. That's rare, dude. That's crazy. Any gifters for that? That's wild. Okay. Uh, here's the next team we got to fight. Uh, it's a water based team, which is fun for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some water out of my body really quick. Actually, I my mod bed for that. I'm going to get done. What if I'm like a god? What if I'm really good at this game? Let me, should I lick this for good luck? I'm not going to lick it for good luck. I'm not going to lick it for good luck. I won't lick it for good luck. 
I didn't like it. Shady, you skipped an important double battle in Cerulean. They'll give you the opportunity to change your outfit after. It's against two guys called... I'm going to the bathroom. Ice Fang, only one ice attack, does not take me out. Add some great balls into our game. Burski. Yes, okay. Let's debug some great balls and put them in my bag. I won't be sad because I'll have great balls. My wife will be really proud of me for a change. So guys, just so you know, this is the correct way to sweep. Just so you guys are aware, right? So this is the correct way to sweep. So guys, just so you know, Yo, this Wyatt, is the correct thanks for the way to sweep. Just so you guys are aware, right? So this is the correct way to sweep. <laughs> oh, that's still one of my favorites. I'm paid by my chat is so good. It is so good. Oh, you tore the main, someone tore the main gas line in the county. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Is that kind of pog for you though, technically? Like for you? I'm not sure. Okay. Yo, good morning, Tal. Good morning, good morning. Okay, we have a Feraligator with Focus Ash, Dragon Ant, Ike, Aqua Fang, Ice Fang, Jaw Lock. Kind of a dagger of a mon to see out front on a Thursday afternoon, no less. However, I have a Zera Aura with Fake Out and Strong Moves. Uh, we might actually have to leave the cave now, unfortunately. Um, I think now is the time. Because <sighs> I need to go, I need to go adamant, for sure. And we're gonna go fake out and plays me face. Plays me face. There we go. Uh, this Pokemon's very good here. This is not a double battle, thankfully. I got some trail mix, too. I'm gonna eat some trail mix. Mmm. I'm just pixels for you now, that's crazy. We're actually all pixels if you think about it. All right, so. If I want, I can go Life Orb. I might, wait, does there order to sweep? Wait, I think there order to sweeps. Give me a second. Ah, uh, ooh. Yo, thank you, Vel Velska. Appreciate the one month. Let's go, Life Orb. Oh wait, I'm being dumb. Fake out into Plasma Fist. Plasma Fist Okos. 
Swan is not faster than me. No focus sash. Ioko. Pyro. I mean, I, 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 maybe I didn't have to leave. The mail tricks? Nah, the trail mix, dude. Uh, ooh, fur coat. Fur coat warring. No, I love Tremens. You guys are bugging. Uh, okay, Wolverine's a problem. All right. Outside of Wolverine, what kind of Tremens? It's from Nutch.com. They're a future sponsor. I'm not getting paid for this specifically today, but we will be getting paid on a video. But it's their um, their harvest trail mix. I guess realistically, do I need the magnet? On, because maybe we could just run Petra Berry. Oh, you know what you do? Actually, we just sub. We can just sub in front of the wall rain. And then it's fine. Right? Like, it'll force the surf of the ice beam. It's gonna toxic first. Choice band or no, because I need the folk. I need to be able to fake out the for alligator. But thank you for your help. I think this just wins. Hmm. All right. I think we're fine. I think thread goes sweeps. I outspeed everything. I sub against the fur, the the, the wall rain. Even if I don't, we just have to be careful with the aqua jet. Right? I don't want to take a lot of damage because the aqua jet. Not with a pecan. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I love Pecan so much, dude. I actually like, there's this, um, one of my friends from uh, from church, she makes these things called like Pecan Bars. They are crazy, crazy good. Why do I have, wait, why did Venomoth get in my party? How the heck did that just happen? <laughs> what, 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 what are you, you get back in the box, Venomoth, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm honestly, this might be selling. I'm literally not changing anything. I, I'm pretty sure we, we sweep it just Sarah. I'm just gonna give slacking return. Oh no, I have the child covered by gummy bears. They are crazy, dude. Pecan, pecan, sorry chat that I'm not saying pecan. My goodness, you think you're so much better than me because you give me money. That's actually insane. Baramosa. Melmetal and Caillou Rem. Velska! Velska with the second Vegeta, a uh, third Vegeta murder of the day, technically. Thank you so much, Velska, for your support on the stream. W's in chat for Vel. Yeah, I can't fly to Elite Four, right? No, I can't. I got I gotta get through Victory Road to earn the fly.
Mío. Please don't forget to thank your gifters. If Velska gave you a sub, please thank them. Most borked mom this run. Uh, Gyarados. Simple Gyarados. Followed closely by Conkelder, though. Huge power of Conkelder. Honestly, I want to live in a world where I get a fur coat, Hisui, and Avalug, ma'am. That's the world I want to live in. Where that Pokemon would just never, ever, ever die. You think I'll finish this run today? I'm not sure, Steve. There's definitely a chance. I just feel like the elite, I, I, I have to wrap stream a little bit like around one. So there is a chance, but I, I don't know. We have how many more battles left in Elite Four? One, I mean in Victory Road. One, two. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh, we only have two battles left. Oh, we might. Today might be the end of the run. Shady stream while in the hospital by newborn. That's a W. <laughs> Claps and chat for golf camp. Congratulations. You've got to be kidding me, guys. There's no way I did that. There's no way I forgot to change the item. I actually think we lose. Um, I actually think we lose. Um, all right, everyone shut up for a little while. Shady stream while in the hospital with my newborn. That's a W. All right. <clears throat> How fast is Beast? All right. I am faster. I'm not adamant, though. And I meant to change it when I was that back there. Shun of a gun. Oh, no. It's really bad. We, 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 we can we can figure this out we can't figure this out <sighs> okay all right I gotta put these away I think the correct play is probably bone in and I thunder wave and I and I hope that rock slide can do it it's either that or we go out into Faramosa Did I already lose all my Faramosa Calx? You've got to be kidding. Oh, no, there we go. Um, and two Brick Break. So here's the thing. If I go into Faramosa. Yes. Actually, I have to spend Faramosa here. <clears throat> you D-dance. And we, we are faster, so we brick break. You're gonna D-dance again. Now you're faster, a U-turn. Yes, no flinch. 
Oh my gosh. Alright, I go back onto Threadgill. I can't believe I can't believe how free this was gonna be. I can't believe how free this was gonna be. Alright. So I know you're gonna toxic. But the right place still might be to just plasma fist over and over, but now I have to calc without magnet, because I'm an idiot. Alright. Napoleon. Yeah, it's not a guaranteed KO anymore. Oh, man. Okay. Um. All right, let's, I have to, I have to re-prep mid-battle. We use Krishna for Swana. We use Threadgill for Empoleon. I use Threadgill for Sharpedo, right? I definitely outspeed and I, I mean, I know I outspeed because I'm choice freaking scarved. I one shot plasma. Okay, so we use Threadgill for, so this is wall rain. Who do I use for wall rain? I go out into Bonin, I think for now, and we go for a Thunder Wave. We can see him a Surf does. That is so much damage, it is unreal. But I can take another, and we do so by going for a double iron bash. We have power chances and flip chances. Flinch. Power, fine. We do it again. There we go! <sighs> All right, Swana should come out here with Hydro Pump. I literally don't know how to play Pokemon. Um, this could be a calm mind. I want a Thunder Wave, but truthfully, we're just we're just gonna go for Thread. Oh uh, no. All right, maybe we... All right, break break Okos, so let's go out into Krishna. You do come on. I'm going to teleport. Go out into Beast and Modest. Oh wait, I'm adamant in these calcs. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, no. Oh gosh, it just threw. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We will U-turn. Blissey can take a Scald. Okay. Oh man, I, I actually have the Sizzix Toss here. I have to do 85 damage. Yep, now I teleport. You do fire off a Scald. Why teleport over a hard swap? Because teleport is negative priority. It allows me to make sure that my Pheromosa will not take any damage. Blissey sponges the damage, and we can go out into our one HP Pheromosa. We do enough now to KO. Teleport is not negative priority. Uh, it is in the newer games, so I would be surprised if Radical Red it isn't. <clears throat> All right, Swana comes out. Uh, I am faster, right? Swana's 231, Timid, Life, guard, life Orb, No Guard. So it goes for a move. We're gonna go ahead and go for the U-turn. Why not use Zara? No, Plasma did not guarantee Oko and Polion. Uh, actually, I could have teleported out into, into that's fair. I, instead of going back to the Pheromosa, I could have gone out into Empoleon. Uh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. All right, let's go for the U-turn.
This is gonna be a little tough, actually, um, but we go for it anyway. Ice Beam is perfect, non-stab, definitely the be literally the best move could've went for. Uh, we could take one. How many mods you have left? Just the two? All right, so I teleport here. And we go to the Threadgill. Plasma Fists. Do you think it'll kill? Imagine being worried about that battle. That would be so crazy. That would be so... I could not imagine being worried about that battle. There is no freeze in Radical Reddit just for us, but which is exactly why I wanted to go. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. All right. <clears throat> we got one more battle in Victory Road, baby. Oh, that was a little spooky, not gonna lie. That was a little spooky. Okay. One more battle in Victory Road. Hey Alexa, don't win this battle for me. Clefable, Chansey, Wigglytuff, Kamala, and Audino. Okay, it, it, we see Stealth Rock here, I don't like that. Um, I definitely do not like Stealth Rock being here. Do I have anything that can outspeed Clefable and Oko? Um. Actually, is it time for Ninjena to come through? Yo, Angel, thank you for the four months. Am I winning? I am actually, it's kind of poggery now. Scarf Melmetal, go to bed. No shot. Are we really gonna do Scarf Melmetal against Clefable? Uh, I can't bring myself to do that, that's crazy. That's crazy, dude. E even Choice Scarf, I have to go Jolly. Actually, I don't. Oh, now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm thinking about it. I mean, Pheromosa might just Poison Jab one shot, right? If I actually change it to Adamant. Oh my gosh, Friends Ferdinand. Friends Ferdinand with the 20 gifted members. Uh, friends, thank you so much for your support on the stream. That is crazy generous. Chat! Any Dodgers? Any Dodgers at all? All right, no matter what, we're going back now because I'm changing my Pheromosa to Adamant. Uh, Adamant Pheromosa does one shot Clefable, which is pretty awesome. Um, Pheromosa might actually sweep this battle. Chansey gets one shot by Brick Break. Wigglytuff. It's one shot by Poison Jab. Komala. It's one shot by Brick Break. And Audino. Does not get one shot by Poison Jab. Interesting. Well, that is quite the dagger, huh? I could still sweep by going Poison Jab, Poison Jab, thanks to the um, Focus Sash. And then it does sweep. There's, is there any, there's no priority on this team whatsoever. Yeah, Pheromosa sweeps. I, I, I don't, I don't, I think, I don't think we stress about it. We don't over, we don't overcomplicate it. We don't overcomplicate it. Let's just, let's just move. Because the elite, the fact that it's 1120, we, we could technically spend an hour prepping for the elite four and maybe do it today. Autono Katoxic, that's fine. I, 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 Pheromosa could take three turns of Toxic. If it goes for Toxic, that's excellent. Grumini, that sounds like bait. Not gonna lie. Mine says Magic Art in my calc. Maybe that's on Hardcore. Nah, Chase, I'm good. I wouldn't do that. I'm not gonna sell that hard, regardless. But I mean, I, I Pheromosa does sweep. Ogasash, Adamant, that's all we need. 
Focus Ash Adamant is all we need. To me, there's no way I don't bring Blissey and Faramosa to the Elite Four, right? Like, a, a plus one Faramosa is too strong to not work at the Elite Four. If we can get through Lorelei, like, Faramosa will, will definitely do work. Although, there's probably so much priority in the Elite Four. There's probably so much priority in the Elite Four, man. Yeah, and I think Avalog, I think you're right. And Avalog is like a guarantee to come too. Avalog and Blissey, both weak to fighting, but. <sighs> it's crazy because part of me also just like, I just want to bring Skeletors. I really want to bring Skeletors. Dirge feels good, but I don't I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be the case. Uh we poison jab. Down goes Clefable. Okay, so Audino should come out immediately. Actually, it probably doesn't. It doesn't because the AI is seeing uh regular Audino's defenses and not mega Audino. So it might actually save it for last. Oh, well, thank you so much. Appreciate that, Jeff. Very kind of you to share. You could do a good Skeletor's impression. You should bring him to leave for. Never do that again. It's a skeleton, dude. What are you talking about? Hey, Shady. Hey. You and Luke are my favorite you for watching your videos. W. You two have such great synergy. Very kind of you to say thank you. He's comatose. This thing is literally a beast, it's absurd. Could you say that it's an ultra beast? I think I'm actually supposed to brick break the auto, oh, right? Because it's neutral. Oh no, the poison jab is super effective. What am I saying? I almost sold so hard there. That's crazy. <clears throat> That's crazy, dude. Alright, P jab. Oh! And he goes for toxic omega lol. Omega Law, I should have protected. All right, all right. Victory Road is technically cleared. Does that give us the new level up, level cap? Maybe once we walk outside. Okay. Um, okay, so we have one more battle before the Indigo Plateau. We actually get another encounter. We get to hatch an egg. Ooh, isn't there one more double? No, there's not. Not in the, not in the docks. Not in the docks. Um, it's gonna be Sandstorm. Okay, 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 okay. I understand, I understand. I'm grabbing my Skeletor right now. I'm grabbing my Skeletor right now. I don't exactly remember this cheeky battle, but I'm gonna pretend that I, 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 I'm just gonna pretend that I do and hope that it works out. Um. Actually, isn't it all I have to do is lead slacking with protect? No matter what. I literally lost this fight before, guys, so I I'm, I'm a little scared. I should actually bring, I should lead, I should lead Nalo. I should lead Nalo for the memes. Wait, what am I doing? Here we go. I should lead Drizzle Kyrim, uh, Kyurem, just, just, just because. Wait, is there really another battle? Oh no. Um. 
Oh, I just got rid of Return when I didn't. I shouldn't have then. Uh, let's get rid of Yawn. Um, okay. I'd say the Glimmit is not the threat. Sludge Bomb, that's Stab, actually. That's actually gonna hurt. All right, I'm gonna protect, and then I'm gonna Plasma Fist here. I have a huge power lander right now, it's broken. That's crazy, D-Bunny. Thanks for the super chat, appreciate that. Your first super chat ever. You've gotta be kidding me that I just got red. There's no way. There's no way. I should be able to just, I should be able to just take this thing out. I literally think switching could be worse. I literally think switching could be worse with what I have in the back. How fast is Glimmet? It's slow, it's slow, it's slow. It's it's a basic Pokemon, it's not even real. It's got no speed at all. Guys, okay, switching out could literally lose me a Mon. Like, that, that's the play that actually could lose me a Mon, is switching out. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, this thing was out for blood! If I sucker punched and swapped Threadgill and then it sludge bomb my, my slacking, it would have died because of Berserk. So let me stream. Your narrator! Oh, just seeing your name makes me sad now, dude. You make me happy, but just the fact that I... The Kong. Thank you so much, your narrator, for the support. I appreciate it a ton. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not talking to that guy. I'm scared. All right. Route 23. Route 23. We've made it through Victory Road. We've made it through Victory Road. It is 11.30 a.m. on a Thursday afternoon. Who's leading right now? There we go. Top super chat of the day from your narrator. Thank you Get so much, it, bro. your narrator. Well, well, thought you could waltz into the Pokemon League without another boss battle. Who am I? I'm the creator. All right, we got a creator battle. Dead Yancy with the 10 gifted members. Dead Yancy, thank you for all your support on the stream. Uh, just a single question. Are there any Dodgers in chat, please? All right, I should have led with uh, my Drizzle Pokemon. That's crazy. Okay, we protect. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. There it is. Uh, Zone Zorion. Thank you so much for the four months. Appreciate it, Zone Ryan. Okay, we got the Metagross site. I wish I had a Metagross. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, that's it. We did. We got to the Elite Four in our first ever Dexnav run. Uh, we do get, we can hatch an egg here. We get one final encounter. Uh, and for the sake of brevity, I will do what the chat has always wanted me to do and load up on eggs in the box. I'll get five of them. 
Just because we've already hatched these, so the chances of dupes are semi-high. Okay. Now, if we could hatch a Metagross right now. If we could hatch a Metagross right this second. I would actually break my other ankle. What is this item? Oh, light clay. That's crazy. Wait, so where's... This is Indigo Plateau. This is where we can hatch. This is where we can hatch our very last Pokemon. I was going to say very first Pokemon. And we've already hatched on Route 23. Or we've already caught a Pokemon on Route 23, right? That's, uh... That's the beginning of the game, our our, our post-Brock hatch. Marn, thanks for the four months, really appreciate it. All right, here we go. Last encounter of our run. We already have this. All right, well now I'm using speed up. The moment's gone. The moment's gone. Here we go. I, that's, I do have one alive. What are you talking about? That's a great last encounter. I mean, listen, with the right ability, this is Kevin Bonin. I mean, is it, can you get it any more scripted? Bonin the bear. Bonin, thank you for all your support on the stream. I appreciate it a ton. Yeah, we have we have we have a we have a dreadnought right here who's alive. What are you talking about? All right, let's release this one. <gasps> it had feline prowess. That's comedy. Okay, let's see. Does this thing get extreme speed? There's no way. This thing does not get E speed. All right, we have Earth Ring. I will actually check. All right, Levitate. I'm gonna check your other ability here. No, there's no Blood Moon. Unfortunately, you can't evolve into a Blood Moon anyway. You know, and we can't go Ghost Bear from regular. Primal Armor. It only has one weakness though. Dang it! That would have been so good on something else. Because Evolite Bear with Primal Armor is thick. It's not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Sadly. Now listen, if, if it has no weakness, true. If it had more weaknesses, it could like take advantage. It would feel better. Like if Ursa Luna has that, I, I mean, that's fine. All right, there's the high horsepower. Gotta have horses now for a living. All right, it's gonna go liquid voice or I don't know if the Elite Four has any grass type Pokemon, but I'm gonna use the bathroom. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Not yeah, that means someone give us money. You cannot say thank yourself. you. Thank you. Volunteer for this here, you say this you now. You say, any Dodgers? I'm Dodgers? Monday through Friday, when I'm live. If you're not here, if I miss, the stream is over. Preemptive ending of the stream. All right, one switch. We go out into Crobat again on this Brick Break. These are the kind of plays I need to make. These are not the kind of plays I need to make! Oh, 
Oh, don't do this to me. Stop in the name of love. I'm going for the freeze now. Blizzy! I can't switch. No way am I losing Blissey Delete like this. Wait, he's struggling too. He's struggling too. Pain. Let me go. Just let me go. Please, I'll do anything. I'm on my knees. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Sap Sipper Bonin is really good. I don't know if it'll be good for the Elite Four. <sighs> All right, this is gonna be a lot of prep. This is gonna be a, a pretty long prep season we're about to go into. Check the other ability, it's Liquid Voice. We got to check it already. Um, Let's go ahead and for old time's sake, Yeah. Absolutely. We've made it to the Elite Four. And it's time to prep. Uh, the first thing we do to prep for the Elite Four in Radical Red, a place we have not been since, that's right, the great summer of 1912, is find out Lorelai's leading with Swampert. So Lorelei with a Swampert. It is gonna be the Rain Lorelei. Rain Lorelei. My bear is following me. I repeat, my bear is following me. <sighs> we get to choose six Pokemon. And just to let you guys, let, let's go over this really quick. We have to choose six Pokemon. We know that Lorelei is leading with this team. Truthfully, we need to figure out how to beat Lorelei with two Pokemon. We really do. Um, automatically, without question, without concern, Blissey has to come to the Elite Four. So we actually have to choose five Pokemon. Once we enter the Elite Four, we cannot leave. So we get to know Lorelei's team, right? But outside of that, every other member is gonna have a random team. They had two teams to choose from, and we will not know until we click. Is there really no music right now? Oh, hold on one second. <clears throat> Give me a second. We will not know until we face them. The PC menu is not available in the Elite Four. No, you have to choose a total of six, and that's it. That's it. It essentially comes down to this entire journey boils down to choosing your best six Pokemon and trying to win. Now, Curum Freeze Dry does go pretty hard against Lorelei because of the Swampert and the Walking Wake. Hisuian and Abelug is very bad against Lorelei. It is bad against Bruno as well. So Hisuian and Avalug is automatically feeling pretty rough. It is feeling pretty rough. Evening, professor, nothing to report. Oh, except that Father Penguin made it to the Elite Four today. Yes. More fighting type moves here that 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 Avalug would really hate. Wow, a lot more fight. I don't think Avalug makes the cut, man. It's a dagger and a half, but I don't think makes the cut. Now, Tapu Lele looks very good against two of Bruno's Pokemon there. And Lele's very good against this team. Four out of the six are afraid of Lele.
Because Triage Lele with like Calm Mind could just be, could, could literally destroy souls. Yo, congratulations, Voxelite. Thank you for the super chat. That's very kind of you. I really think, so here's the thing. We need to bring a sweeper too. Like we need to bring a sweeper. I want to know if Dragonite can actually party. Can Dragonite hang? If you had a better ability, man. Thanks for the steams while I was on paternity leave with my newborn daughter. Truly a legend. <sighs> Is there mental herb in this game? Can I run mental herb Dragonite against the the, the Infernape? Because then I sweep. I'm pretty sure with mental herb, I sweep Bruno. With Dragonite, both teams. Let's do some Calx Dragonite really quick against Bruno. Is the level cap actually 85? That's the question. Okay, it is. Final level cap is 85. Let's check out. Um, let's go Great Tusk. I just got a feeling. Dual Wing Beat. So, he doesn't touch me at all. So, Great Tusk, if we go Dual Wing Beat, Earthquake. Then against the Urshifu, Wioko. Against the Iron Valiant, I'm at level 100, true. That makes, not, that makes way more sense. I was gonna say, that's crazy. All right. He still doesn't do much. Still does not do much. All right, we, we Oko. We Oko. We Oko. Then this is where we don't, right? Probably not. Earthquake does Oko. Rusty Sword, perfect. Iron Hands. Earthquake does not Oko. Uh, Great Tusk Proto. No, he doesn't have anything to proc the Proto. There's no sun. There's nothing out. Nothing there. Iron Valiant outspeeds me. I Iron Valiant outspeeds me when I'm at plus two. Seriously? Wow, that's insane. So I have to get to plus three. All right. Great Tusk. I don't want to sub in front of the Great Tusk. Yeah, with Booster too. It doesn't have Booster. It's holding Focus Sash. Oh, um, the Iron Valiant you're saying. Got you. That's why. So I have to get the plus three if I want to be faster. I'm actually going to open up a notepad here. I think... If I sub on the Stealth Rock, I'm pretty sure Great Tusk goes to for, for close combat, right? And at that point, if I go Impish, uh, I only have a chance of potentially surviving. My sub has a, ch a very low chance of surviving.
<clears throat> There's just no point in going sub. There's no point in going sub. At that point, we just go leftovers and we don't go sub, right? And we let him do his 28. How much does lefties recover? 12? 12%? 6%? The problem is he can just switch to Iron Valiant immediately. I don't think he will. Thankfully, if he does, we live anything. And I Oko at plus one anyway. Like maybe he goes, maybe he swaps right away. Okay, we have to run sub actually. Okay, we do run sub, we run sub. There are multiple teams they can have, yes. But, 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 I'm pretty sure same thing, if we look at the Infernape. If we look at the Infernape. Infernape, Infernape actually doesn't break a sub, we definitely run sub. Uh, obviously, if he has Taunt, that's really bad. Oh, that's right. That's why I wanted to run the Mental Herb. I have to run Mental Herb. I can't, I can't run. If it's the other team, you don't need Mental Herb. Yeah, but we have no idea of knowing until we talk to Bruno. We can still swap moves and items. Yes, yes. If we have Mental Herb, then we're fine with the Taunt. We can D-Dance once, and I think that's all we need to sweep. Uh, that's not true, because there's an Iron Valiant right in the back. Uh, maybe this maybe this isn't worth it then. Maybe this isn't worth it. Maybe this isn't worth it. All right. Hmm. What other Mons do we have that are really, really good? Pheromosa is broken, right? We, 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 I feel like we have to bring Pheromosa. It is broken. Can't you tell Bruno's team from Lorelei's? No, because it bounces back and forth. Melmetal's another very good mom, but I think the lack of speed will really hurt. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't think I even need to calc much to know that, like, Pheromos is going to be incredible in these battles. You know, actually, um, Swampert looks really good against Bruno Team 1, and pretty good, Swampert's really good against Bruno. Swampert's really good against Bruno, right? Because like I could run Stealth Rock and he taunts me and then I flip turn and I can flip turn out into Pheromosa. That's really strong, honestly. I'm gonna soft, soft put Hurtman on the team. It's soft, but it's there. All right, we're looking ahead into the future. And we should be looking at the present right now. We have to look at Lorelei's reign team. How are we doing this? This is a double battle, so it's one of the worst battles of all time, in my opinion. It is just awful. Toad does is haze scald. Hey, it's it's bad. It's bad Pokemon. It's bad Pokemon. So we want to focus on the Polyrath lead. We could. 
Outside of the Swampert, everything is special on Lorelei's team, so Blissey can have a blast. Right? So we could... Do I really want to commit to Zara, though, that quickly? I mean, Zara has been an absolute unit for so long. Yeah, for Lorelei, honestly, Kyurem is so strong. Is Kyurem good against the rest of the Elite Four, though? Really bad against Bruno. Awful against, pretty, pretty much unusable against Bruno, right? Um, Ice Stab does nothing here at all. Ice Stab does something here, at least. Setting up the rain is nice to hurt the Chiyu. Lance does not, I mean, Choice Scarf, Choice Scarf does a lot against Lance, actually. Even Lance has two teams, that's insane. All right, I, th I, think, I think we do bring Caillou Rem. We have to remember, what starter did our, what starter did our opponent choose? Does anyone remember? I'm pretty sure we chose Charmander, they chose Squirtle. So this is their team. Only Karaidon team. I mean, this really, th this existence makes me want to bring Tapu Lele so bad. Uh, Eveltong, Karaidon, Bruno's team, Komo, -O, Urshifu. It even does well against Iron Valiant. Does well against um is okay against Marshadow, Chien Pao, and Zoroark. Doesn't Blissey wall Lance? Uh Blissey does really good work against Lance. Uh, outside of the uh Aerodactyl. Actually, no, he has a lot more physical mods now. Physical, 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 physical. Only two special. So no. But Blissey is necessary. I think I think we have to bring Lele, man. I think we have to bring Lele. The triage, the option for subcom mind against a special attacker. I don't really know. I, the problem is I don't see a special attacker where I feel super comfy. Right? I don't feel super comfy against any single special attacker here. Maybe I could calm mine against this Aurora. I mean, is Flutter, is Flutter really that much better? But the triage priority is so strong, man. So, so strong. Let's see. I just wanted to get her leveled up and then compare move uh, stats. 286 versus 277. A lot more special defense on our, um, so the, the attack is not that much different. I think, I think Triage Kiss is just too strong, man. I think Triage Kiss is way too strong, but having a fighting immunity is also incredible. And I mean, this is a fighting resist. This might as well be immunity. I know obviously Sakaar is way, way faster with 260 speed, but, I have priority. I feel like priority is just more important. Fluttermane really does though, like once the steel types are gone on Lance's team, Fluttermane just uh, outspeeds and washes all of these guys. I 
I think priority's better though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with my gut. My gut had wanted Lele, if anything. All right. Swamper gives us an option for rocks for some fights. So that's very good because I would like that for sure. I think Blissey might even get rocks, but I doubt. It. I know Uncle Fable does. Um, you need a Dialga answer. Our Dialga answer is going to be our Blissey. Right, like it, it's a stall game for sure. But I can't get my special defense drop thanks to Shield Dust. Um, and we just get there slowly. Right, we just seismic toss slowly. Roar of Time switches you out. I know, but you in, in, in this battle, we run Protect and we PP stall the Roar of Time. It only has eight PP. It's also like, we can, we can, if we want, we can pivot. It protect only works twice. Yeah, but I can eat, I can eat one roar of time. <laughs> Get switched out. Go back into Blissey. All right. And I'm pretty sure that Faramosa might one shot. I actually, that's a move to your close combat, right? I might have to teach Faramosa close combat. I mean, I'm sure plus one close combat is going to do the work. It's going to do the work. <sighs> Are these our for our five? We still don't even have a plan for 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 Lorelei, by the way. The plan very well could be lead Ferramosa, U-turn on Polyrath, and uh, Choice Scarf Freeze Dry and take it out. That feels like a, that feels like a solid turn one. Because everything is weak to Freeze Dry. I don't think it takes out Primal Kyogre, I'll tell you that much. Let's let's start let's start looking at let me close a lot of these calcs. Hi you Rem. 85. Shady, Yo. have you ever thought about how all the trainers you just cooked in Victory Road, you sent them back to Brock? W. Honestly W. Polyrath, Lorelei. 70 to 80 percent. Now I'm assuming that Ferramosa 85 Adamant plus one U-turn. That does nothing. Oh, that's the wrong Pokemon. Still doesn't do a lot, but 26. Oh, it has a chance to not Oko. That's insane. Um, oh, you're faster than Faramosa. Darn it. That's, that's what I was afraid of right now. Is it like, does that mean that we have to bring Zara Aura? I 
I was trying to save my last slot for uh, some sort of, like, even Urshifu, right? Urshifu gets bulk up and drain punch and can sweep potentially in a lot of situations. I already put in the plus one, but thank you for your help. We have anything that turns off the rain. I definitely do have a Pokemon that could turn off the rain. I do. I want to bring, I want to bring Urshifu, man. Urshifu against Lorelei is so good, and then Urshifu against other teams is going to be good. Like, sub lefties pace, turn one. Being able to either go for sub or bulk up is massive. Does Haze get rid of stat increases if I'm behind a sub? Still does? Okay. Alright, let's see how much, since this Polyrath is crazy fast, let's see how much uh, Tapu Lele does. Because we have the triage. Modest. Triage. Pixie Plate. Uh... Draining Kiss against Holy Wrath. Okay, 72%. So U-turn still wouldn't be the case, and then I would have to uh, take a hit from Poly Toad. This guy's breaking species, it's so broken. Cause like, Lele doesn't mind being out front. Part of me, yeah, but Polyrath is gonna do a lot with surging strikes to me. I can't like, I can't guarantee, I have to KO. I have to KO Polyrath. Even like, let's look at Politoed versus Pheromosa. Scald Oko's me, so I can't like run Choice Band or something, or Choice Scar. How fast is Polyrath in the rain? Literally, I'll tell you guys right now, if, if, if somehow Fluttermane is faster, I'm running Fluttermane. It's not faster. It would be with a Choice Scarf. Yeah, Specs won't actually take out the Polyrath, unfortunately. Just based on the damage, it'll do more, but it won't take it out. And at 26 to 76, uh, Specs Draining Kiss does make it so that U-Turn would take out Polyrath, then whatever's gonna go in the... Does Coridon's Oracle Compose that sets the sun right? We have we 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 have to we have to bring Fluttermane, man. It's it's Chlorophyll Fluttermane against Lance's team. This thing is gonna pop off, man. That's such a pop off, dude. Yeah. That pops off so hard. Of course, if the ditto 
copies me, I'm I'm cooked. The ditto reverse sweep would be awful. That's only one battle. Yeah, but okay, but look, look, look. Then obviously against Bruno, like obviously Fluttermane does good against Bruno. Fighting immunity. Blissey's gonna bait fighting type moves all the time. All the time. I know you're gonna hate me, but I have to pee again. today then dude that's sick yo Jim I am so glad we got rid of Tony I am so glad we got rid of Tony bro you and this script brother you're kind of goaded with it But if I wouldn't, I would would gift more subs so you can have a chance to open a pack with one of the rarest cards in an ancient emblem. Whoa, ancient emblem. What is that? Ancient emblem. Andy, first of all, I was going to say, literally don't ever worry about giving money to a streamer. Second of all, f*** you for making me say H&M. Okay. So. How much water do I drink? A lot. <sighs> Important to stay hydrated. I think we do run Fluttermane. I'm gonna miss priority, for sure, but uh, I think Fluttermane just has to come. And there's nothing I can do about it, it has to come. Um, <laughs> Steve. Is this our six though? It's funny cause Swampert feels semi mid. But it is, it, Mega Swampert is crazy bulk. And having ground stab against Steelix and uh, Dialga is probably really good. But he definitely feels like the quote unquote weakest of the bunch. It's good against Metagross, that's for sure. is so bulky so bulky who but like Melmetal doesn't want to fight against Bruno it doesn't it kind of likes Agatha a little bit outside of the um, Marshadow and the golden go. <sighs> he resists so much. Every Pokemon has coverage for him right now. Look at this. Everything can everything on Bruno's team can hit. Everything on look, fighting type stab, fighting type sacred sword. Uh focus blast, not too hurt. I mean that is gonna hurt a lot because my special is like doo-doo butter. Focus blast here. Lance, EQ hits me, EQ hits me. 
it's good against Primal Dialga, but we have a Blissey, uh, Earth Power and Flamethrower, Earthquake, Earthquake. Does Flutter beat Iron Valiant? Yes, absolutely. Good luck. Thanks, Ruby. I think the worst part about this team right now is that I don't really see much setup potential. Uh, but pace. Honestly, the fact that we have Swampert and Pace together, that should be really good, man. That should be so good. Damien, thanks for becoming a member. He goes away when Swampert switches out, not when I Mega Evolve. But I won't get that many turns with it then, to be honest with you. But still. Ah, I'll be able to send it in. Mega Evolve, flip turn, out into Urshifu. And there might be battles where, like, just Choice Scarf Urshifu in the rain with Surging Strikes could probably pop off. Right, like, against Agatha, that might just sweep. Wait a minute! I lead against Agatha with Swampert. I Mega Evolve and Flip Turn. I break the Sash. And then obviously Zorak goes down, right? Obviously Zorak goes down. Now the rain is up, or the heavy rain is up actually. And then we see Fluttermane. Fluttermane has booster energy and it's going to be what? It's gonna be speed. So you're gonna be plus one, you're gonna be faster than me every day of the week, it doesn't matter. Um, even to find Choice Scarf. Even Choice Scarf Jolly. Hooray! Alright, Moonblast takes me out. How much does Aqua Jet do? That does nothing. Pokemon's borked. Um, let's go Adamant then. What if I get the plus one? Oh. Okay. I could be crazy for this. Oh, you have so many things that are faster than me, though. I need speed. I need trailblaze. I need trailblaze. I need trailblaze. Honestly, a Trick Room user against Agatha's team is so good. <sighs> Let me see something. Only Flutter gets it. Good morrow, can't stay long as I am at work, but wanted to hop in and give you a friendly reminder to eat, stay hydrate, and take care of yourself. At least we have a Trick Room user on this team. A trick room against this against this team is so good. Let me just see if Mars Shadow. Uh Surging Strikes. Okay. You go down to Surging Strikes. 
Yeah, Tapu does get Trick Room. I know that for sure. <clears throat> I'm like going back now. I think if it wasn't for frame one, Yes, I could change items and moves. Yep. Does anything take out Go Goat? What do you mean by that? Inferno doesn't even take me out because I have well big body. But I can't set up a Go Goat because of Inferno. Going for Taunt. Otherwise, Go Goat does really well against this team. I think a consistent thing is gonna be Swampert leading, having Stealth Frogs, baiting the taunt and just going for a win flip turn. All right, so we would either need the rain up to KO or be at plus one. My thought was like to go with um, power up punch to get the plus one. I wanna know if there's a world where like where I can like trailblaze against Lorelei's team with Urshifu in the rain. I don't have fake out right now, man. The, the, the polyrath is just so strong. How much does polyrath do to my dude? No one. Okay, polyrath, I can eat. I can eat polyrath. I can eat polyrath. Now, does Trailblaze actually take out the Swampert on Lorelei's side? It doesn't. That's crazy, dude. I wish I could bring the slacking with Friend Guard just for this fight. Just for this fight, man. Still feel like Trailblaze is the correct play for this fight. I know Lorelai's free strike cure him, but that's once we get through the Polyrath. Once we get through the Polyrath and the Swampert, we can free strike cure him. I know Kiram can free strike Swampert, but it's Swiss Swim. Actually, Swampert might be faster than me. Swampert goes to 300. Uh, Kaiyu Rem goes to 288, unless I'm timid. So I have to go timid Kaiyu Rem. No, I don't even have speed anyway. I still don't have speed. I don't have speed the Swampert like that. So freeze dry Kaiyu Rem is what, what is it good for? It's good for the Walking Wake, and that's it. Walking Wake. Surging Strike's probably Oko Sakara, so I can't actually lead with it unless I'm gonna flint fake out. Here's what we do. Oh, that seems bad, actually. Let's see something. Uh, Flutter Main. That could be my Flutter Main, please. Thank you. 85. Moonblast against Holy Wrath. I almost want to bring Polyrath and Tapu Lele, which is like incorrect, but I almost need to. I might need to draw. <sighs> I really wish Fermosa got fake out, dude. If Kyurum isn't good for this fight, why not bring it? Why bring it at all? That's what I'm questioning right now. Kyurum is really good. Scarf Kyurum is good against Iron Jugulus, Dragonite, and Salamence, right? I mean, once they D dance, I'm I'm not. Hello, oh 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 oh. To be fair, I'm also not. Yeah, wait. Kyra is not gonna outspeed. What does Faramosa Swampert cover? Like the lead, you mean? 
I mean, Feromosa destroys Mel Metal, destroys Primal Dialga, destroys Iron Jugulus. Um, honestly, I can run Ice Beam and run Special. Like, there's a chance that I can Quiver Dance on this team somehow. Oh my god, just kidding. Don't you need Kyurem for weather? No, I don't need Kyurem for weather. There's no other weather in this. There's no other weather in this thing besides the rain that we're already seeing. I actually don't think Nalo comes. Like, Larry, I know you were saying that it does, but I don't know if it does. I don't think that Nalo comes. And what's crazy is like my two choices that I'm really leaning towards are Zara Aura or Tapu Lele. Zara Aura is really good against Lorelei, obviously. Um, but Lele has more good matchups, I would say. Yo, Brandon, thanks for coming to member. I appreciate it. What's my Mega Metagross answer? Probably my Swampert, right? I wall every move it has except for Zen Headbutt. I go for an EQ. And like, Zara, yes, Zara does learn Fake Out. But now for this battle, if I want, I can lead Lele and Sakara. Lele boards for Lance. Lele is very good for Lance. Lele is also very good for Bruno. Outside of the Lucario and the Zacian. <sighs> Hisuian Gudra is also very good, but um, does struggle a bit. Hisuian Gudra is really good against uh, Agatha. Really, really good against Agatha. Except for, you know, all the fighting type covers that I was yelling about before. Okay, so I think maybe we lead Rostagno and Fluttermane. I think we have to grab Hidden Power Grass on, e on on all of these Mons to scare the Swampert. Yeah, Steve, this is partially why I wanted to just like wrap and then do this next week because I would just prep over the weekend. I'm also running out of time right now anyway. Where, let's, let me grab Mental Herb just in case. I don't know where you get it. Do you buy Mental Herb? Is it a drug? Does anyone know where you get Mental Herb from, from this? Mental Herb is a boss fight. Where? I have to do that fight. I have I have to do that fight. That's a that's a true dagger, but I have to do that fight. Yo, Nita Reborn, thanks for coming to member here. Appreciate it. I'll Google it. I just tried to say, where do I get mental herb? And the first thing is, where do I get mental health ball? Where do I get mental herb from uh, in Pokemon Radical Red? That's power herb. I'm looking for mental herb. 5% chance of holding a mental herb. Is that actually in Radical Red too? I actually don't think we've seen, we've seen, I haven't seen any of those. I don't think we've seen any of those in our run. It's the Santa Conda fight. 
Imagine we lose a modest anaconda trying to get this mental herb. That'd be crazy. All right, not the Senescorch fight. Where's the Santa Cana fight? I really think we need mental herb just in case we gotta set up. The Scorch fight gives you Rocky Helmet, that's true. Which I kind of wish we had. But, uh. I wish. I guess we're not gonna have a mental herb that I could do. I, I don't know where it is, man. I already have a mental herb, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, it's comedy. Okay. Here we go. So, I think we lead. Fluttermane and Tapu Lele. We would have to run Choice Scarf. And I think I can be modest. Moonblast has a really, re I didn't realize how high of a chance that was. That is an incredibly high chance to Oko, actually. Bringing two fighting and two, yeah, I, it is crazy for sure. I think we're still gonna do it anyway. Our most cracked monsters happen to be that. What are you gonna do? Um, so we would KO, we would double into Polyrath, right? Man, do I just take the 98% chance? That's such a high chance to KO. That's like a, that's a really, really high chance to KO. You know what else I could do? I could just Aqua Jet. I could just Aqua Jet Moonblast and he's gone. I mean, ideally what I want to do is I want to sub and let Fluttermane, it's a 93.8% chance. If we got the 6.2, I, I, I think I do take that risk. I do take that risk. I absolutely do take that risk. 100%. That's, not, that's, that's barely a risk. That's barely a risk. And that would just be so content. Oh, it's Focus Sash Wrath. That's why I had to do all this nonsense. Frick, dude. Okay, never mind. All right. <clears throat> so we Drain Kiss and we Moonblast. Holly Toad will then go ahead and in the rain, probably flip turn my Flutter Mane which is so much damage and such a bad position to be in, but it is what it is. Um, I do want to run Calm Mind, I think, for this fight. If I have the chance to Calm Mind, it wouldn't be against the Swampert. Swampert's gonna outspeed me and KO my Rastagno. Dude, this, uh, this battle's impossible. This battle's actually impossible, that Water Absorb. This is just like Misty. This is just like Misty. It is impossible, that Water Absorb. 100%. 100%. It is impossible. 
I have no idea, John Base. I appreciate the support, but I really have no idea. I have a water resistant pace that would recover HP as well. So maybe that's all I can hope for. And we don't have dry skin, we have rain dish. I mean, let's just see. Cause like the problem is that if, if, if the Politoed switches out, the problem is that there's gonna be two incredibly strong Pokemon here. Like it could be Swampert and Walking Wake or Swampert and Primal Kyogre. That would be awful. This still feels like our team, so I kind of just want to walk in. Swamp out speed, Scarf's Kyrie Rem, yes, in the rain it does. It literally does. I wonder, actually, wait a minute, I might have just... I might have just figured something out. Dazzling Gleam, so we hurt the Politoed a little bit. And Dream Kiss. Kills the Polyrath and gets some damage on the Politoed. I think that's better than Moon Blasting. I mean, it, it literally is better than Moon Blasting, obviously. It is like factually better than Moon Blasting. Especially because I'm, I'm gonna have to swap out. No, no point in Sunday day when Ky Kyogre's in the back. Instead of instead of choice scarf, oh no, because we want do we, we want we want you for later. I think not if I'm bringing Lele. I don't really need need you later, because we could just go choice scarf Zara at this point. But we do want the, the chlorophyll is really strong for later. Any chance you press uh, sunny day on turn one now? I don't think so. I really do not think so. I was thinking, I was thinking about that. But I guess I should run the calcs, right? If we set the sun up, Surging strikes this 43% to my flutter main. And Palito doesn't do a lot. That, you know what? Because what that would allow me to do is turn one, I can actually click Calm Mind. Guaranteed Calm Mind off. How much does Tapu Lele take from Top Polyrath in the sun? 30%, that's nothing. Oh, guys, I think I do this. I literally think I do this.
especially because like Walking Wake, I know Walking Wake has Protosynthesis, which is scary, but Walking Wake will go down to Tapu Lele at plus two. At plus one. Plus two, I lied. Do I run the Pixie Plate at that point? I probably do. I can run Scarf, I just have to swap afterwards. I think that's what we do. I actually think it's crazy enough to work. If this thing had Truant, it'd be, I mean, if this thing had, um, Prankster, it'd be so good. It'd be so crazy. What's the plan for Kyogre? Let's see how much, how Kyogre sits. I mean, the plan for Kyogre, if I'm honest with you, is just gonna be, if I'm at plus three, special, plus two special defense, uh, I take a lot. No, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna drain kiss you first, so Water Sprout's gonna do less. So let's say we take away 35% of your HP. Right? That's like fine. Yeah, that's fine, Steve, I'm down. <sighs> yeah, you know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna choice scarf, choice scarf, uh, sunny day. Um, and we're gonna rely on calm mind or stagno. And either we go Pixie Plate or we go Lefties. We actually, there's like a benefit to going Lefties, obviously. And there's also a benefit to having more damage. Yo, John, base. Keep it up, Shade. Thank you. My new computer gets here tomorrow. I'm so excited to finally finish Moonrise Towers. Can't wait for BG3 with the boys. We could go back. Life Orb because we're recovering our HP, but I just, I hate taking damage. I really do. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep Pixie Plate on there, I think. Sunny Day will pull out the Kyogre, that's literally, that's, that's okay. That will be okay, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Pace, are you faster than Kyogre? 202, so I have to go Jolly Pace for this whole thing for sure. Just based on that alone, because this should pick me to what, 204? 215, okay. So if I outspeed, Kyogre. Um, at least I can get damage off before the Origin Pulse goes in, or I can get a sub up and like bait the Thunder over and over again, which is kind of even better. I think that's the play. I, I think I've, I think I've accepted that these are our best six monsters they lead for. I think I've accepted that. Does Big Root make Draining Kiss do even more damage? Yo, Simply Tom with the 50 dono, that's crazy. Yo. I started watching in 2013 when I was 10 years old. Thank you so much. And why road to rank days. I'm now 20 and just got my first job as an airline pilot. I lost my dad last year. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. to see you play with your kids is so wholesome. I don't know why, I don't know why that got cut off, my dude. I'm gonna read the rest of that. I'm so sorry to hear that, um, but I really appreciate your support. Um, wait, was that on, that was on Stream Elements? It was on Stream Labs.
Yes, it was from Simply Tom. Um, it was just so you believe the kids are so wholesome. Thank you, Shady. That was it. But I want to make sure you had, and you had reverse exclamation mark, reverse exclamation mark. I do see that. Hearts for Dono. Hearts for Simply Tom in chat. Um, I think this is what we do, man. I'm getting, I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Uh, move wise, I think we have to. I mostly don't want to. We have to run triple axle on Faramosa, which I don't know where we get it. It might be Cinnabar. One of these dummy busted moves. If you set up Sun, Kyurem Bar Body Swamp. That's true, but that's that's not. I don't think that's worth enough. Uh, Cause why the hell not with the ten gifted? Thank you so much. I appreciate it a ton. Any Dodgers? Cause the rain can go back up at any time. I'm just doing it so that turn. Where do I get Triple Axel from? What the heck? Is Triple Axel a TM? I think it's a TM in, in the Frosty Lens. Oh, my soul is weary on a Thursday afternoon, I guarantee it. That's probably it right there. So you gotta do this whole little Thing. Cause I gotta go from the other side. Dude, I want my own walking weight. Give it to me. See foam? Yeah, I see foam every time I look at chat. Mods. Okay. An ice heal, that's comedy. Oh, butts. I didn't want to have speed up on. Stop it! A laprosite. Sounds like a disease. I love it. Oh, I fell down. Didn't want to. Okay. Kyurem also sets his own range, so he comes in and it's like, oh yeah, Swampert, you're fast again, cool. Massive W, Swampert. I think I just misplayed, hold on. Saved. Saved, actually. All right. Please just give me this nonsense. Another Megastone? Really? Obama site. It's crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Triple Gaxol. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Alright, so I'm glad that it's a TM actually. It's really good. Alright, so we don't need it at all times, but having it is nice. Okay. Awesome. Guess what, guys? Guess what I have to do? I know. I know. I gotta pee. Sorry, chatters. Gee, you skipped an important double battle in Cerulean. Give you the opportunity to change your outfit after it's against two guys called. I'm going to the bathroom. You shut your mouth. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. What? What did you? What are you doing? What are you doing, opponent? No, don't turn around, you silly little badger. Oh my gosh, can I break the bridge? I think I'm stuck in it, bro. I actually think I'm gonna break the bridge. All right, I'm gonna dismount. His opponent is... <laughs> I 
Ice Fang. Only one ice attack does not take me out. Okay. Oh boy. I don't know, guys. It's so funny because slacking would be cool for the ghost immunity, but there's so many fighting types and Agatha, uh, fighting type moves in Agatha's team anyway. No, these are our six. These are our six. Okay. Let's just. I honestly want. I think. I think that we can do this. I do not feel like 100% confident, but I also don't think I ever will. All right, let's just, now let's start going through the actual battles uh, in our prep, all right? So turn one, Lorelei. We will. Dazzling Gleam. Uh, Sakara and, oh no, 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 no. We're doing the, we're doing the fun strat. Sunny Day, Sakara. Calm, mind, prostagno. Uh, turn two. I have no idea. So there we go. Good prep. Um. <sighs> yes, you can heal between battles. All right. I think we're ready. If we get through Lorelei Deathless, we, we have such a good chance because of just, just the synergy of Beast and Krishna is so good. It is so good. Uh, we have the automatic Como answer, I think. Let me just check Como. -oh. Is this your your special defense is gonna go up? So you will survive a draining kiss unless we go life orb. Even if we go life orb. Unless we go choice specs. No no, you're gonna take damage. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We can just we can just we go pixie plate. You're gonna lose one third of your HP, so it's fine. Urshifu goes down to draining kiss, no problem. Sucker Punch does a decent amount, not a big deal. Uh, obviously Zacian Crowned. Uh, I don't know what our answer is for an SD Zacian Crowned. What does this team do against Zacian Crowned? Actually, like, literally nothing. If rocks are up, literally nothing. This team does not have a Zacian Crowned answer. And that's how we lost one of our runs. Let's see. Ken Swampert. We'll go to Mega Swampert because you get you get better stats. Zacian crowned. Ooh, wait a minute. You got a plus two? We're good. We're good. I'm assuming Earthquake takes you out in one shot. Earthquake. Adamant. It doesn't. for Intrepid Sword. He's already at plus two for some reason. I don't know why is he... Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. He would have been at plus three, wouldn't he? I still live the close combat. We swap item for Soft Sand, then I lose 150 attack, but thank you for your help. I lose 40 attack. Defense drop after the CC, true. If he goes for CC, the problem is that right here, he might not go for CC. Why is he so fast? Can Pheromosa get anything to hit you? Because I could flip turn. 
I don't think uh, I don't think you, I don't think I get Aqua Jet. Swampert doesn't get Aqua Jet. It'd be too good. Does Swampert get Aqua Jet? No, he doesn't get Aqua Jet. That'd be crazy. You know what we have to do? Probably flip turn out into Faramosa and close combat for neutral. And that, that might do the trick. Close combat on Zacian. Yeah, okay. So flip turn, so because close combat is gonna do 76% minimum and flip turn will do 42. 42 plus 76 is 108, quick math. So that's our strat actually. Can we calc booster energy Fluttermane for speed? I can't, I don't, I can't use booster energy. I don't have protosynthesis as my ability. You can only use that if you have protosynthesis. I have chlorophyll, which honestly would be so cool. You know what's crazy? <laughs> if I had another way to set up the sun. Does anyone else on my team get sunny day? I think Blissey might. Blissey and Lele does. Oh. That's so cool. Okay, there's gonna be stuff to do in the lead forward. I'm definitely glad we're bringing it. What's Mega Pert's ability? It just, it's um hydration. What, 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 why does someone say uh, you need Jolly? Been prepping over an hour. Lucas, when I beat Radical Red, we prepped for like three hours. Need Jolly what? Oh. Wait, do we need Jolly Faramosa? Oh, we do need Jolly Faramosa. That's actually gas. That's crazy. That makes me so sad. That's crazy that she just said that to me. Honestly, I think we gotta go speed on everyone. Except for Hurtman. And Blissey, obviously. Uh, and you. All right, I think we start. Actually, we can keep her Stogno modest because you have priority, boy. All right, no matter what happens, we really did a good job. This run has been incredible. It was our very first run. We made, I mean, did you guys even think I was gonna make the Elite Four in the first run? I feel like you didn't. I'm gonna speak for you, you didn't. Got you, Lucas, I appreciate that. Okay. And once we get through this, every special attacker is a Blissey, is Blissey fodder. Unfortunately, there's mostly physical here, but it's fine. All right, let's do ourselves a favor really quick. Look for anything unique or semi-unique at least. I'm sure we have enough lefties, but I'm nervous. Kinkelder would have made this so easy. I think if we, need, if we lose, we're going right back in with Kinkelder. And we're just gonna pretend that we didn't lose. Deal? Deal? We're just gonna do it today, man. What is it, it's one o'clock now? Yeah, I was supposed to stop streaming at one o'clock, but is that gonna happen? Nope, not at all. Not at all.
All right. <clears throat> Moves that we need for Lorelei. Do not need money. Yeah, you need you need a whole load of help, huh? We need to give you liquidation. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep liquidation on you, but at the very least, I'm gonna start there. Yo, Samurai, thank you so much for the five spot. Appreciate it. Increase level cap? No, I think we checked. And it is still level 85. It is it is 85. Yep, just 85. We know we need flip turn on you for sure. EQ is like your strongest move. We'll get rid of hammer arm for now for this fight. There's the only person I'd want to hammer him would be the iron bundle, but he has freeze dry, so he would never stay in. Okay. Pheromosa for this fight. We want close combat for sure. Maximum damage, triple axle. We don't actually need triple axle for this fight. But we don't need poison jab either. We might just run brick break as an option. What else do you get? You have quiver dance. Rapid spin. I wish I knew if... um. If Infernape was in front of me and they didn't have rocks up yet and I had Rapid Spin, if it would go for, for Rapid Spin. I would go for rocks. I really wish I knew that. Uh, Lunge 80 is strong. Probably the strongest move we can do for now. Tickets, get your tickets here. Just $5 a pop. I actually all think... Proceeds go to repair all Penwin's shoulders. Come watch the greatest throwman. Inverted right, that's... exclamation mark. Crazy. Inverted exclamation mark. Inverted exclamation mark. I'm gonna go HP Grass here. And I am going to teach you Hidden Power Grass in case the Swamper gets any ideas. I don't know if I would ever stay in. Probably wouldn't, but there, there's there's, there's some sort of scenario where the sun's not up. You can't even learn Hidden Power. Oh, that's Sunny Day, Teehee. Uh, or do I just want to protect on you? I don't want triple axel. I believe hashtag break the news lock. All right, you do learn energy ball. Do I want that over shadow ball for this fight? Y yes, I do. But I don't have the shadow ball team, but you do relearn it. So do I have the team for energy ball is the question. Yes, okay. We definitely run energy ball on you. Because you're really good for this fight with energy ball. Yo, thank you, Ishmael. Appreciate that. Mando ticket lead. Don't wanna get bounced. Try getting okay. in without a ticket. I'm gonna I max dare I dare you. I'm gonna max my um draining kiss. Um. Why Dazzling Gleam, not Moonblast? I'm clicking Dazzling Gleam because the Polywrath goes down turn one anyway, and I want to get some damage off of the Polytoad. Thank you for your help. I'm also running Moonblast though, so don't worry. <sighs> I really just want the Verstagno play to work out. I really want to see, because there's a chance we just lose the Lorelei because of us, of us getting feisty. Um, did someone say ticket? I got one, but ouchie, somebody is trying to steal it from me. Ouchie, 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 ouch. Let's go shady. Hashtag break the challenge. Hashtag break the chat. Hashtag break the wheel. So yep. I think this is my Mando ticket fee. I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance actually that we're supposed to run Stomping Tantrum. We'll see Trailblaze OP. Um, they were supposed to run Stomping Tantrum because it's single target. But that might have been against the Ice Team. Do I not have Giga Drain? I definitely do. You get it from Erica. Oh, you don't learn Giga Drain. Never mind. I thought our Stogno got Giga Drain. That'd be broken. Yes, I did consider that uh, that Walking Weight can get a boost. But it's gonna get what a special attack boost, and the whole thing. I'm setting up Sakara with special defense anyway, so I'm not worried about it. 
not Scar. I'm sending over Stagno with special defense anyway. Hurricanes will no longer hit. Hydro Pumps are going to be really weak in the sun. And then Dragon Pulse is going to be, uh, I'm going to be immune to it. Yes, yeah, so Stagno does get Energy Ball. I was looking for something of priority. I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and, and skip Protect. I think I do want to skip Protect. I think Protect is just going to be too slow. I just, I honestly don't see me clicking anything except for Draining Kiss, if I'm honest with you. That's the real thing, but. All right, I think we're doing it. All right, check, check the moves one more time. Choice Scarf, we know your moveset, good. Draining Kiss, Energy Ball, Moonblast, Calm Mind, fine. I'm not running Sub, which feels a little neg, honestly. But there's not enough time. Why not big root? Because I care more about getting enough damage off than just recovering. Liquidation protect, earthquake flip turn. I think that's fine. Because you'll bait freeze dry and we could actually use protect as a turn uh, away. Uh, protect as well, you're very frail. So you do bait a lot of things. You have that focus sash and there's no hazards in this fight, which is great. Like, like Inc, thank you for the uh, membership. Pixel Plate, Choice Scarf, Swamperdite, Focus Sash, Lefties, which is good in the rain. You love to exist. You are running Sub. You are running Trailblaze. You are running Drain Punch. You don't need Surge Strikes for this fight. Um, I don't know that there's anything better for you to run, though, right now. You don't have a lot of knockoff targets. I could run Bulk Up. There's not really anyone for me to bulk up in front of besides the uh, Swamp Earth, though. And truthfully, I'd rather just double Trailblaze. Um. What would I run instead of Surging Strikes? Power up punch or close combat. U turn? Honestly, probably U turn more than anything. Priority is always good to have. I just don't think priority is going to. Everything resisted in this fight. I don't, I don't think it's going to be good to have. I mean, this, the rain will most likely be up from the Primal Kyogre. Um, mm, I don't know. <sighs> I think I can see U-Turn being fine. Okay, and then Krishna right now, you are running Thunderbolt, which is mostly okay. Uh, I actually don't think I, I think I get rid of Thunderbolt and I run Thunder Wave. Paralyze everything except for the Swampert. And that should help us a ton. Yo, Nate, thanks for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Oh, stop it. Thank you. Comedy. All right. That's our team, boys. We're going into lead four right now. It's 106. I got I gotta finish in 35 minutes, so that's gonna be a problem. Um, or we're gonna have to stop mid elite four and finish it tomorrow, which is also really bad. Should I just wait then? No, I'm not waiting. We're at least starting it. We are at least starting it. Because you know what? Lorelei might smack my teeth. And you know what? It's been a good run, everyone. No matter what, 07's in chat. No matter what happens from here on out, 07 in chat. Off my Mando. He is my last dollars before Sunny day. day. Ice cubes will Calm mind. tonight. I'm now faster because Polybreath has no rain.
<laughs> Toad goes for flip turn. Now you are going to go out into Primal Kyogre, though, aren't you? Walking Wake in the Sun. That's actually fine. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I can't actually calc it for some reason. Even when I turn the sun on, it's not happening. Good luck, Shady. Uh, Walking Week doesn't have Hydro Steam. It's Hydro Pump in the docks. Um, I think no matter what we swap out, Sakara. I think we go into our Water Resist right now. We go into Pace. You're most likely going... You're not going to hit a Hurricane, so it doesn't matter. You're, mo you're not going for Dragon Pulse. You're going for... <sighs> You should go for Hydro Pump here, but maybe you do go for Hurricane. It is stronger. You do go for Hurricane. I have to swap Lysian. I have to really hope that this Polyrath, like, swaps out with Flip Turn. Or we're in big trouble. And then we have to Drain Kiss the Walking Wake immediately, I think. Guys, my Sakara is scarfed. I can't switch my move. I really wanted the Calm Mind one more time. If it does protect, I'd be screwed. I think I actually Calm Mind again. Just in the off chance it protects. The problem is that Polyrath sees Sakara as the target. And going out of the Blissey is begging for death in every way, shape, and form. Like even in the sun, surging strikes is gonna hurt so much. It might not take me out. It won't take me out, but it'll hurt a lot. I still have to do this no matter what. Or pace and dodge the hurricane but if he swaps into the water hurricane's gonna connect i'm going to krista i'm gonna go with my original gut and i'm gonna go calm mine protect yes ice punch that's fine that's fine it, it's strong it is strong but it's fine my appointment for work canceled so i'm getting okay. paid to watch father shady stream right now so now Pops plus in two. For Shady to beat the E4. No plus throwing, please. Kiss shut up! Face. Shut up for a little bit. All right, we read the close combat. We go back out into Sakara. The question is, do I get greedy? No, I just dream kiss the walking weight. W. Hi, baby girl. Okay. Can you take the lid off and do like 30 seconds? I think you can. Just take the cardboard off. Love you. Oh! Okay. TC? Nah, not today. Not today. I'm the fastest thing in the world, by the way. Not anymore. All right, so here's the question. Because, you know, there's gonna be primordial C here. Uh, um, Kyogre. Primal. Is gonna take 35%. Right?
I know sunny day won't work. I'm not gonna sunny day, guys. Why is chat? I can't read chat right now. I got, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw up. Uh, a water type move is going into this slot though, for sure. Like both both ways. I think the best thing we can do is go out at the pace. Did I keep protect? I didn't keep protect. I'm an idiot. No. Kyogre? Fluttermane. I think now we go back to turn one play that we were gonna do before Sunny Day. We Dazzling Gleam, and I Drain Kiss. Cause Fluttermane against the Kyogre, Primal in the rain, if that full HP Water Spout does a lot, but you're not gonna be at full HP. You're gonna be at 50 HP, about 50%, 52. And we survive anything you do there. Except for the Origin Pulse. That would hurt a lot. Origin Pulse, uh, Origin Pulse might, uh, might be a problem. Might be a problem. A little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. Let's see, I am currently at 181. I live Origin Pulse. Okay. That's all I needed to see. And I Drain Kiss here. Get back up all the way. Dazzling Gleam. Drain Kiss. No, D Gleam does not do 50%. Oh no, I, I threw. I threw, I threw, I threw, I threw, I threw, I threw. I still, I think I still survive. What's up, babe? That's crazy. Um, Did you kill it? Going around in the, in the middle of it all? I don't really care. Yeah, I'll drink it. I'm not gonna drink it. Just, I guess, contact Starbucks. Thank you. Yeah, sure. There was a B. Actually, I'm not gonna say it on stream because it's toxic. <laughs> Even though they probably just figured it out. Okay. That's pretty awful. I don't think we survive. No! If I lose it all, slip and fall, I will never look away if I lose it all, lose it all, lose it all. Thanks.
Waterfall's gonna hurt so bad. Kyogre Thunder would do so much damage, probably KO me. Um, a lot of you guys are ignoring that for some reason. I have to read the Thunder for sure. And I need to calc Waterfall, which Waterfall is going to destroy me, I'm sure. Oh, frick, man. You've got to be kidding me. I need it for text. I don't know if killing Kyogre tur actually turns the rain off. I don't know. If it does, then drain kissing Kyogre, and then, th then I'm fine. Okay, you guys think it absolutely does. I'm g I'm gonna go with that then. If if that is true. The heavy rain stayed. The heavy rain stayed. I'm losing Restogno here. Oh no, actually no, because he's not faster anymore. He's EQing. The rain lifted. That is crazy damage. That is insane damage. I don't think we're any better for it. All right, I gotta make a crazy play here. Iron bundle sashed, of course it is. I'm so screwed. If I send this out, the rain comes back. I have to see how much freeze dry does to my uh, Urshifu. It probably Oko's, let's be honest. Yeah. Here's my only, who's my only chance of winning anyway, right? Like, um, if I look at my Tapu Lele, Tapu Lele plus two does 48 to 57% to a Mega Swampert. So, Drain Kiss should take out Swampert. Because of that, I have to just go out into the creation on the freeze dry. I'm plus one speed though, aren't I? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I trailblaze, I trailblaze, I trailblaze, I trailblaze. I'm faster than Iron Bundle. Okay. So no matter what I U-turn. If I Dream Punch. You survive. I'm, I should U-turn for damage. Who's left in the back? Hollytoad. Not really worried about that. Train Punch brings it down to Sash, and then you go for Freeze Dry and take me out. I think a U-turn. Knowing that you're going to freeze dry this slot. And I drain Kiss Swampert because it KOs. Because it KOs! Bliss.
You go for a flip turn on this slot. I go out into Hurtman because the rain's up anyway. And I drain and kiss the Iron Bundle. It's the strongest threat on the field. I just liquidation and dream kiss. It's an energy ball, right? Let's go. <sighs> Obviously, the biggest problem is that Sakara is dead. All right, Sakara is dead. I have to Pokebile. So Scar comes back to life, and I can't access the PC. But one is down. All right. I feel completely deflated, though. Not gonna lie. I feel completely deflated. It wasn't a misclick, I just forgot that I wasn't gonna be draining kiss. I had to drain kiss the polyrath there. It wasn't actually a miss. I'm sorry, I had the dazzling gleam there and I had to drain kiss the polyrath to make sure I KO'd it. It really wasn't a misclick, it was just a miscalc in my head. It was a misstep. Um Alright, so for for Bruno, no matter which team it is, I lead Hurtman with Stealth Rocks. I'm gonna try my best to get through this, guys. I don't want to rush, but and I do have to leave in about 20 minutes, but uh, I'm going to try my best. Let's see does learn stealth rocks. That's crazy. Um, we get rid of protect for now. All right. So turn one, Infernape should go for um, flip, uh, should go for taunt because I have stealth rock. I'm going to mega evolve and flip turn to bring him down to sash. When that happens, I'm almost positive I'm supposed to go out at the pace. I can't sub. <sighs> I do see that message, Nick. Maybe I'm just supposed to go out to maybe I'm just supposed to go to the beast and just U-turn. Right? We definitely don't even power grass anymore. We want uh, triple axle. Who handles Zacian? Uh, the only answer is going to be going out into my Mega Swampert, flip turning, going out into our Feromosa with close combat. That's our answer. I would spoon the bee out and drink it. I was going to as well, but my wife had concern Where in her do eyes. Come down on tuna on a pizza. I get so much hate for it. Anyway, here's a pizza on me. Yeah, that's so gross. Okay. No, we need focus dash case of Lucario gets gets wily. So the question is. Who do I go into next? Not having our ghost type is gonna be the end of us, I'm sure. I think that we actually, I think that we actually go Hurtman and then go to Beast, flip turn out into Krishna and pray that it baits in Urshifu. So that on the close combat, we go out into Rastagno, we drain kiss, gone. Zacian comes in, we go into Hurtman, we flip turn. Uh, for Krishna, Thunderwave is still fine. Thunderwaving the Koma O is gonna be great. But even the Iron Valiant would also be fantastic, um, which Krishna can do. Let's just see how much Krishna takes from Iron Valiant. It's gonna be a lot, obviously, but still, we have to, we have to calc it. Uh, Blissey, 85, Calm against the Iron Valiant. 
Oh, we take nothing. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, we take nothing. That's great. Um, Lucario is physical. We want to go for close combat once again. Uh, that's going to be our worst spot for sure. We're going to have to do some crazy stuff. Go into Krishna. Um, I think actually run a Steel Berry. Or let's see. If Lucario goes for close combat, it'll drop its defenses. Minus one. Draining Kiss, Pixie Plate does not take you out. Flash Cannon, absolutely. You don't have Flash Cannon. Oh, that's Bruno too. I'm gonna play worst case scenario, Bruno one. Um, minus one, the CC, Meteor Mat, actually Bullet Punch even has a chance to take me out. The, uh, the Steel Berry will do nothing here. We'll have to go out into our um, pace, which means I want Aqua Jet back. I think I want Surging Strikes too, right? Like, why not? I think I want Aqua Jet more than Surging Strikes right now. I want Aqua Jet over Sub. <sighs> Once I, if I ever get a chance to Trailblaze on something, I outspeed everything except Iron Valiant, right? But I don't stay in on much, so maybe Trailblaze isn't worthy. Maybe, maybe we just run the Surging Strikes or the Protect. I think I run the Surging Strikes. Yeah. Drain Punch is good against Lucario, though, if I'm faster with Trailblaze. I think maybe I never run U-Turn, because I'm not fast enough. Okay. And... I think that's all we could do right now. I definitely forgot to grab the Psychic TM, I'm just remembering. I definitely forgot to grab TM-29 when I was getting liquidation. Oh no, I got it. That was bait. <sighs> okay. I think it's the best we got. Best we got. Uh, let's see if we have room for protect though. There's not many instances. There's no like choice Pokemon in this one, right? So I I'm not too miffed about not having protect. Um, I don't think I have room to protect on you. It could be worth running Assault Vest, but the only special Mon on... Uh, it could actually be worth running Assault Vest here. I don't think I have room for protect on Restogno. I can get rid of Energy Ball, actually. I can get rid of Energy Ball for protect. That's fine. And Swamper, there's no room. Swamperdite, Focus Sash, Chestoberry, no. Oh gosh. Uh, lefties. Pixie Plate, I think, is still fine. And then lefties. Maybe I do run Protect on you, actually, because of that. Um, am I getting rid of Trailblaze? Yeah, I am. All right, that's our team. Let's go. We can at least get this battle done before I have to leave. <sighs> Let's see. I forgot he's gonna set, oh, this is the other team. So he gets rocks up. Is it worth putting my rocks up for anything? No, not at all. That's really unlucky. That's really unlucky. And there goes my focus sash. I was so sure that it was gonna be taunt. I totally forgot. Um, there's no setup here. 
And so it's Jover. It's actually Jover. That's my fault. Completely my fault. We're gonna try our best, but it's Jover. There might have actually helped me sweep. Is Urshavu SDs and sweeps? Let's see. I set up the rain for him and everything. I gave him permanent rain. No, I have an idea. I refuse to give up that easily. Okay. Brock here. I can't wait to see you soon, sweetheart. Make your your ice that shoulder so you can get a good spin on the wheel. Do. You. Understand? Sword stance. It's always sword stance or close combat. rocks we eat we drain kiss Frick, let's go okay I'm full I'm full I'm full I'm full ZC and crown comes in Blade blows me back. And it's not even close. If I go into the Swampert, I take 30%. My only hope. Okay. So in the heavy rain. Because Earthquake has the chance to Oko, you might actually do that. But we know flip turn 42 to 50%. And then our plan is Pheromosa is faster. I'm going to have to take Rock's damage. I'm not running the heavy duty boots. But we know that CC takes you out. So we still flip turn. We hope you SD. Actually, wait. I think, I think close combat takes me out. I think we lose. No, close combat does not take me out. I think we don't go to Faramosa and we go to Pace because with the heavy rain Aqua Jet will take you out and then we recover our HP back from lefties and rain Aqua Jet in the heavy rain does 30% I'm pretty sure you were less than 30 I could calc it just by checking the Swamper calcs um, 
Swampert, you were at minus one defense. Flip turned to 63 to 74. So Aqua Jet has a chance. Oh, he's also minus one. I did minus one on one count, but not the other. Yeah, Aqua Jet does it. Okay. So you go, we go into, into Urshfu instead of Pheromosa. Thank you guys for all your help. Appreciate it. Aqua Jet would take you out regardless. Getting through this JCN is such a big deal. All right, this should be Iron Hands almost every single time. The problem is we don't have a good Iron Hands answer now. Okay, it's Iron Valiant because I don't know how to play Pokemon. Iron Valiant Moonblast Oko's me. That's okay because we go into the Krishna now, finally. Yeah, I don't tie to rocks, but, but uh, Iron Hands has a uh, fake out, so I have to like get an after. Don't worry. And he probably doesn't even die to that. Um, we are going to T wave here every time. Ugh, actually, there's a chance that Iron Hands comes out. Nice to see. You know what? On the I'm actually going to seismic toss. Thursday night in the year of our Lord 1912. Yo, Patters, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it a ton. Hope you had a great stream, dude. That is a three at KO. Now I'm gonna Thunder Wave. All right, full para. Next one's full para for sure. All right, this Iron Valiant's at plus three. Where's my Blissey Calcs? I think I'm fine. That's a lot of damage. Um, we could technically go out and start our Stogno, knowing that you're going for Aura Sphere. I literally just I could have teleported whenever I wanted. I'm so stupid. I forgot how much damage we do. Um Wait, you don't have Aura Sphere. You have Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Psy Shock. Oh, Psy Shock. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I was looking at the wrong I was looking at the wrong one. I definitely just sold. I can't lose Blissey or we lose the whole run. I was look I, I was in I was in Bruno 1 instead of Bruno 2. All right, it's fine. It's fine because the play is still Rostagno. He gets full parrot anyway, every time, every time. Every single time. Oh God. But we eat this, we eat this. My name is Tapu Lele. My name is Rostagno! All right. Now we drain kiss. Valiant comes out. Lucario. Yeah. All right. So this is special Lucario, actually. That's kind of good for us. Um, Lucario. Flash Cannon Okos. Okay, so you go Flash Cannon every time. So we go out into... Let's see. It might be Urshifu over Blissey. Mega Lucario 2 is going for Flash Cannon, does nothing, but then Aura Sphere does take me out. Um, actually, I have lefties, right? I don't think it does take me out. Because he does a total of 102 damage. Minimum, though. He does 120 
I guess if I run the calcs, I could always just protect after that. I'll end, I'll end up just getting critted though. All right, let me just check how much he does to Blissey. Blissey, Lucario. Uh, one nasty pot and I'm cooked. I'm genuinely cooked. But, let's see. Oh, Drain Punks doesn't even Oko, that sucks. All right, how much does Lucario do to a Feromosa if he's at plus two? Probably too much of Vacuum Wave. Actually, no, that works. That literally works. So we Krishna, we teleport out into Beast on the Nasty Plot. And that should be good. There is the option of going for Thunder Wave Paras. But I think the best play, I would love to get one Seismic Toss off. If I could guarantee you're gonna double Nasty Plot. Let's just teleport. All right, so now it's either pace. If we go into the pace, I can't go into the pace. I go into the Feromosa. I take 25%, vacuum wave does 60. Oh, it doesn't do 25%. Oh, we're so fine. We are so back, that's crazy. All right, um, I CC every time. It's gone. Didn't even vacuum wave me, which is incredible for me. All right, Iron Hands comes through. Any move KOs me. Um, I actually think, let me see. Iron Hands fake out this 32. I have to take the fake out. And I click U-turn. I could protect, I'm gonna protect. Fake out. CC doesn't take you out, so you turn every time, no matter what. And... Plasma Fist is your strongest move. Plasma Fist is the only thing that does take me out. How much does Stealth Rock do? Come on. How much damage? Is it just 12 and a half percent? Base damage is 12 and a half percent. Oh, but Herman resists, right? And he's, he's got to be going for Plasma Fist here. There's no reason he would do anything else. The question is, does Hurtman even KO if it comes in? Earthquake does not KO, which is like the worst news I've ever heard in my life. I am faster, you're 116, you have no priority. So I'll flip turn. You're going Drain Punch or Ice Punch. Either way, flip turn.
and Drain Punch or Ice Punch. Actually, we're going to our, let me see how much Restagno does to you. Wow, it does not do enough. So I think I have to go with Urshfu and Surging Strikes in the rain. But he's going to recover a lot from that Drain Punch. That's the problem. Surging Strikes isn't going to do enough either. I'm actually in a really big, a really bad spot. Moonblast. Moonblast does enough. 69 to 81. 69 to 81. I'm so sad I have to stop right now. I'm on such a heater. I'm on such a heater. Hold on. On. I'm gonna try to push back this meeting. All right, really quick, I'm gonna run to the bathroom while we wait to see if we can extend. I mean, Elite Four, Elite Four is like, you know, it's kind of, kind of important, right? It's kind of important. Deathless Bruno. Deathless Bruno. Okay, you go to Mama. You want to say bye to stream? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. care totally totally fine dragonite lives i don't think we hold on i need a crit oh, oh call an ambulance call an ambulance but not for me i don't care we lost the entire boat i don't care we lost the entire boat, I don't care. Totally, totally fine! Dragonite lives! Why not rest there? I was slower! Did you not watch what happened? I was slower! It wouldn't have mattered if I clicked rest! Are you kidding me? Where are your eyes? I'm so sorry. I hate boats! Yeah, yeah, I'm on the latest version, 3.1. Why am I getting yelled at? Mods! It only took two weeks. Mods banned that guy. Don't tell me what those look like, mods. Mods. Okay, he's coiling mods. Shader, your timer's going up. I'll talk to the mods. Oh, that's Tidra. I, I ruined your name. Hold on, mods. No, because I outspeed Delphox and one-shot it. 
Mods. Oh, Pokelink's not working. Mods. Again. Mods. Oh, I do get Dream Punch. Mods. Oh, no. Mods. Ramble is a bear. Mods ban that guy. He went for the rain dance. Mods. He knocks me off. Mods. Give me a second. Mods. My Venom's getting drained. Mods. Sturdy Noibat. Mods ban that guy. Mods. Mods. Mods! I love Brock! <clears throat> Alright, we just got- we just got word! We just got word. Oh, this is perfect. Let's do 11 tomorrow. W in chat. We're, do we're going all the way today. No stopping. We either win or lose today. And I have chocolate covered gummy bears. So it's kind of a W all around. All right. Up next. Up next. We have to Agatha. We have to Agatha right now. I'm trying to Agatha later, you know what I mean? Um, let's not make the same mistake we made. Do both leads have taunt? Both leads have taunt. They're both just two different forms of Zoroark. That's really cool. Um, move wise. Why well, I did say chalk cover gum bears. Listen, I know that might sound crazy. These are honestly banging. I'm gonna have to like make sure I don't eat too many. Okay. Swampert literally walls Zoroark. Is there a world? A universe even. No, there's no universe where I set up with this thing. There's no universe. All right. I lead and I flip turn. I lead and I flip turn. It's milk chocolate. Okay. Everyone calm down for a second, please. I lead and I flip turn. I should've got more water while I was up there. I'm bone dry, dude. If he goes for taunt, W, we can go out into beast and just U-turn. And then honestly, we can go back down to Hurtman if we want. There's no access to the PC in the Elite Four. No, you have to, ha you do it with just six Pokemon. Fluttermane, we have Blissey. Golden Go, we have to scout. See, this is a this is a little bit of a this is a dagger here. I don't get to just run seismic toss. I actually don't run seismic toss at all. Radical red is lost. So we need Radical a new red move. Is lost. Hashtag break the phone. Hash beat the game. Do right. You understand? We might run. Uh. No. No. I wish I had hidden power ghost, man. Not gonna lie. Big faux pas. Charge beam. Absolutely charge beam. Not a new question. Literally not a question. Literally not a question. Sizing his egg move? Well, I just lost the Elite Four. And maybe we go back to that meeting, right guys? Chimpow walls me then. Well, I would never stand on the Chimpow. Hmm. Maybe it's Thunderbolt over Charge Beam.
Maybe, maybe it's... No, I don't go flamethrower because I set up permanent rain. I don't go flamethrower, guys. I think it's Thunderbolt over Charge Beam. I'm never staying in long enough to really take advantage of the Charge Beam. And Thunderbolt, I can para. So we do that. Because I keep Thunder Wave, honestly. Okay. Uh, Beast, move-wise, I think you have your best moves for this. You, obviously, close combat we don't want, but we can't get rid of it because it's a tutor move. Willow over T-Wave, I don't think I get Willow. This is a really rough one for sure. Um, so here's the thing. It looks like Hurtman has to carry this battle on his back. Like a ton. Because Pheromos is kind of useless. Can't keep these on my desk. I'm gonna eat them all. Gotta stop. All right. <clears throat> Is there any world where I can get Urshfu to set up? I could try to run Trick Room. Because then Hurtman can KO Gengar, eventually Golden Go. I think I have to run Trick Room for this fight. Never mind, I can't run Trick Room for this fight. I lost my Trick Room user. Oh, that's bad news, Bears. That's really bad. Okay, is there any way I can set up with one of these mods and actually succeed at it? Not, not frame one, obviously. I don't know. Let's see, does not trick room. We just checked. What can I do? Do I try to go SD? Maybe I just try to go SD Aqua Jet. Maybe that's our best play. Like, can can I SD Aqua Jet some stuff? Now, Spectral Thief would be disastrous because Spectral Thief actually steals it. But I, I think that we still do it. I wish it just copied it. But I still think it's our only play. Blissey does not, guys. Blissey does not learn Trick Room. We literally, we literally just checked. We literally, look guys, look at the screen. Every Elper, look at the screen. I'll make it big for you because obviously you have tiny brains. Look, no Trick Room! I give you your Elp. How does Lele, can Lele actually, cause you know what? Everyone that hits Lele hard hits on the special side. Is there a world where like against Fluttermane, Lele can set up Calm Minds? Let's see. No, Shadow Bolt is too much. I would need to already be at plus one. Plus two, plus two. I would definitely need lefties and protect. I think I have to have that as a backup plan. I have to have it as a backup plan. Oh, I wish I, I wish I, I honestly, I wish I could freeze the Lele, give it frostbite. I wish I could give the Lele frostbite right now. I know that's like a toxic thing to say because Lele has feelings too, but um, I really do wish. Spectral Thief won't matter against me because uh, I, I'm pretty sure that a Marshadow goes down to a plus two, right? If I got the plus two with this thing, it's not gonna matter. Uh, plus two is just gonna destroy it with Draining Kiss and I go first, so it's fine. Oh, it has Focus Ash, but still. Uh, no, I can't do that, it has Focus Ash. I actually wanna get the rocks up in this fight. It's such a dagger, it is such a dagger. 
No matter what, against the Fluttermane, we, we Thunder Wave it. We absolutely Thunder Wave it. And we can figure stuff out from there. Is it Thunder Waved? If it's Thunder Wave, do we think that a Poison Jab... Oh, I can't get rid of Close Combat, though. i probably get rid of Protect for it. The question is, does a plus one Poison Jab... No, because it's neutral. Oh, man. Triple Axle. Triple Axle does it if we connect all of them. I have to keep Focus Ash, though. I just need to pop off. I, I need to land, what, 380% in a row? 390% in a row. I can do that. That's no problem. That's no problem at all. That's like no problem at all. I would never think that's a problem. Okay. I think this is the best we got. All our moves are correct, I would say. SD Aqua Jet can end up being a late game sweep. The only Pokemon I can really SD against is probably Chin Pao. Um, but doing so would be incredible. How many? I think I need to be at plus four to Oko the Gengar though. Let's see. Aqua Jet against Gengar. Yeah, plus four. And it's still a it's a roll. We have to take it. It's an eighty five percent chance. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we have Protect on you, right? I don't have Protect on you yet. I need Protect on you. Oh, uh, do I get rid of Teleport for Protect? Because the Fluttermane, the Fluttermane does so much with Psy Shot. But I was hoping that with, um... I was hoping that we could like protect, get our lefties back, and we would be fine, and then get a couple paras in there. What am I T-waving? I'm T-waving the the I'm T-waving the Fluttermane. It's like the whole purpose of this Pokemon. So I can outspeed it with like Urshifu. I need teleport. No flamethrower, no, because rain's gonna be perma. Guys, remember rain's gonna, oh, rain's gonna be perma! So Urshifu will be in heavy rain. Oh, plus four totally. We okay. Wait. Ah, I need rocks up. I was trying to see maybe I can go like Moonblast or something. I mean, uh, um, no, uh, Champau. I just SD. Right? How much does Champau do to me? Nothing. Perfect. Okay, double SD. We win. Double SD. We sweep. If we had rocks up, or my shadow's already broken. Okay, this is the best we got. I can't run protect as much as I want to. We can't run it. So I have to T-wave and hope for a power on the teleport or just hard swap on the side shot into like uh, Rostagno, which that I could do. Yeah, and then go back on to Krishna. Yeah, on the shadow ball. Yep, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Do you need T-Bolt? I need damage. I need Blissey to be able to do some sort of damage at some point. I was, oh, I don't know which team this is. I have to flip turn no matter what. I don't know what team this is. There's a taunt. Oh, team preview, true. It is the first team. I think that's prefer. I think that's preferable. I think that's preferable. All right, we're going to the beast. You have no priority, or or. No, I can't SD right here because it's special thief. So I go to the beast. Then I use her. 
Withdraws, that's fine. Who is it? Who's taking damage for no reason? Golden Go? Great. Great, Golden Go. Take damage for no reason. I'll pop your balloon. Ooh, this is actually really great. This is a free Golden Go pop. All right, so my Golden Go answer is Hurtman. Hurtman's gonna take a lot of damage to make this happen, but it might be worth it. Okay, actually, I don't have to take that much damage at all. Hurtman every time. Am I supposed to just liquidation here? I don't think it matters. Honestly, do I get rocks up? You're gonna nasty plot and go to plus two. I think we get rocks up to break the sash. He just shadow balls. <sighs> oh, because I KO, that's true. This might've been a misplay. Yep, that's a misplay for special D-drop. That is a misplay because of the special D-drop. Absolutely, absolutely misplay. Why did I read chat? Oh God, I should be doing this. I should be, I should be screaming right now. Um, yeah, Shadow Ball takes me out. Run to Krishna. It's my only play. It's my only play. You've got to be kidding me. I just got red. It's okay, I'm a blissy. All right, what's Golden Go speed? 191. Alright, I can't actually set up. You are going nasty plot. The question is, do I tell you immediately? No, I think that's incorrect. I think that we are supposed to. Where's my Blissey? You're gonna nasty plot to go to plus two. All right, I'm supposed to Thunder Wave here. I can't paralyze this as good as gold. Chat, chat, shut up, shut up, dude. I just lost now because of that. I'm faster. Urshifu with surging strikes in the range just be able to do it. Yes, surging strikes in the range just does it. So we just teleport like I wanted to. Rain is perma. Gengar is scary. That's a really weird switch in from you. Mega Gengar doesn't Oko. can't nasty plot here. So you definitely go for a move. Your strongest move is Sludge Wave. I could go into Krishna and Thunder Wave you. Teleport goes through Shadow Tag. Teleport goes through Shadow Tag. I'm not worried about that. 
I'm not worried about that at all. So, I get to go out into Krishna, go for the Thunder Wave. That way pace is faster on the teleport on the following turn. So let me just see what a plus, hypothetically, uh, Tbilisi, a plus four, oh, that's Golden Go, hold on. Gengar, Mega Gengar. Oh, it doesn't have Focus Blast? Oh, it does, oh, it does. This is just the wrong Gengar. Uh, there we go. Focus Blast at plus four will do 89 to 105. So, right here, your Sludge Waving. I go into the air, I get Thunder Wave on one, I could also just Surging Strikes into Aqua Jet. Surging Strikes takes you out. It's just more so that I want to take all that damage and be in Shadow Sneak range. I really don't want to be in Shadow Sneak range. So I'm going to go into Krishna. That's really bad for me. That's very bad for me. I cannot believe he nasty plotted. It, it, it was an anti cheat. No, because I just KO'd a Pokemon. Um, that's really bad. I have to Thunder Wave here. Okay. We're in so much trouble right now because of that. Teleport too. I actually have no, I have no play here. I have to teleport. Yes! I mean, it would it would have nasty plotted again, but still. Starting strikes. Never worried, actually. Never worried, actually. <sighs> okay. Come on. All right, Chen Pao. All my Urshifu. Chen Pao doesn't do anything to me at all. Surging Strikes Okos, but I'm not faster. If I Swords Dance, I Oko. Let me just look at Mar Shadow. Mar Shadow, I don't Oko, so I don't want to actually do that. I want to just Drain Punch. We'll get all of our HP back. Cameras, this hold on, sorry. Oh, yes. Let me see. Okay, Fluttermane is here. This is a scary Pokemon. It's very fast. Uh, I would have loved to have been set up for this thing. For sure. Maybe I should have maybe I should have actually went to plus two. I could have went to plus four and swept. I misplayed so hard. Okay. All right. This is Moonblast every time I go on to Krishna. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Side Shock is going to hurt a ton. I have to T-Wave here. This is non-stab, but big damage. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. Uh, I am not faster even with the para. It's 214. Wait, it's 214. Even my Urshifu's not faster.
I mean, I go on into Restagno. I think. Let me just check those calcs again on Lele. Uh, this is uh, Flutter Main. Sashok does 16. All right, this is a chance to kind of mess me up, actually. Urshfu, oh, Urshfu is faster by one, that's crazy. No matter what I go into Krishna, I mean I go into uh, Tapu Lele. Alright. So now, I have to get some more damage off on this thing. I think the number one thing I do, oh first I protect, and I pray they did this get full power because I'll feel really stupid. W. We get more lefties. Now I go Moonblast, and I get the... F oh. 228. No. Okay. Any crits in chat? No. Draining Kiss does 28 to 33. All right. So Moonblast does 27 to 33. I'm at 35%. So now you go for Shadow Ball because it does more. So, we could go on to Krishna, but that just delays the inevitable. I actually think I'm supposed to go into the Beast here. Spend the Focus Sash. Beast is faster. The only Pokemon left in the back is the, um... Oh, you have two. Wait. <gasps> oh, that's dirty, dude. That's dirty, dirty. And it's they're both at full HP. I won't know who's who. Zoro's really low. Oh, Zoro did take damage. Zoro's not a full health. It took flip turn damage. I think we go into the beast here. I think we just go into the beast. We have our focus ash. We eat it. We're fine. If for some reason the Calg decides to go for Moonblast, then we would be screwed on the Urshifu, so I can't risk it. We just we just spend our focus ash. It's fine. It's fine. My special defense! Okay, it's fine. Um, Is there any chance U-turn takes out Fluttermane? No, not at all. Okay. So we go Poison Jab here. We don't have to risk a miss. I don't have Poison Jab. I have to risk a miss. I thought I had Poison Jab. I just threw. Um, I just threw. All right, Farah. 290%. 290%. One. Got to do it for content at this point, obviously. Right, Marshadow's here. This is true Marshadow, based on the HP. Marshadow Shadow Sneak does enough to take me out. So I can't risk it. Oh no. Oh no, maybe I did just throw. No. No. Pace has this. Pace has this. I believe in Pace. Pace for president, Pace for president. Perfect. Best case scenario. All right, you're faster than me. But I got rain dish. I wish I had sub right here. <laughs> I live anyone hit. I go for surge strikes every time. Yep, could you bulk up? 
Cause you're not smart! You're not smart like me! Enzer Orc goes down to rocks, baby. And that is our third Elite Four member, Agatha, defeated. <sighs> I got chills. I literally have chills. All right, <clears throat> two teams possibility. So far we've been, uh, we've did left, right, left. My gut says right just because of that, but it is what it is. Um, It's one of the hard ones, man. It's one of the ones we were really counting on Fluttermane for, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I think no matter what, it's the Aerodactyl lead, oh, it's Aerodactyl or Garchomp, right? So, Garchomp lead would be pretty bad because the rocks are getting up. I have no Pokemon that can get rid of rocks. Um, that alone makes me kind of want to not run Focus Ash on the Feromosa and instead run something else. Oh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get my coffee. I forgot Tyra made me a new cup of coffee because of the, because of the the, the the bee in my coffee from the the Buck Star. Yo, David! Thank you so much for the 20 gifted members. I appreciate that a ton. Uh, any Dodgers in chat? David, here's your name for the 20 gifted. Two names in the list of you. And before you see a shiny, I would love. <gasps> Is that actually a shiny? Is that blue nose? No way! Wait! Wait! We can kill- we can lock this in! We can lock this in! This is worth it! Yo, no shot. Clip it. Clip it and rip it. Clip it and rip it, dude. Meryl! To get done what if i'm like a god what if i'm really good at this game let me should i lick this for good luck i'm not gonna lick it for good luck i'm not gonna lick it for good luck i won't lick it for good luck i didn't like it literally if i miss this jump kick i'm banning everyone in chat Literally everyone. You're all banned! You're all banned! For the dodge. For the dodge. I should have just stayed in. I should have never stopped believing in Cord. Cord, dodge! 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 For all right. My wife just handed me this great ball. So guys, just so you know, this is the correct way to sweep. Just so you guys are aware, right? So this is the correct way to sweep. Woo, am I? Okay. So. Here we are, Lance. Lance has two teams. We're just gonna try for one. Hope for the best. No, that's not true. But the prep is gonna be the same. Just about, right? Ah, okay. I, we want it to be Aerodactyl. If it's Aerodactyl, we're in really, really good shape because he's gonna taunt. If not, I actually think I need to Stealth Rock against the other team, like genuinely. Just to break the multi-scale on the Dragonite, 25% on Salamence, I think that's worth it for sure. Triple Axel's gonna be really, really, really important in this one. Honestly, Feromosa destroys. Feromosa literally obliterates last team too. 100%, 100%.
like close combat, triple axle connecting. I actually, you know what? I might have to go wide lens instead of focus sash. I do go wide lens. That's crazy. Let me just, let, let's see how much ice beams do to these Pokemon from an adamant Feromosa or Jolly rather. Let's just throw it on here over the poison jab for now. Ice beam against Garchomp, for example. Ice beam Okos. As a focus test, obviously we would flip turn, so whatever. Dragonite, it Okos. That's through the multi-scale, that's crazy. Oh, that's triple axle. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong move. Hold on. Uh, it barely Oko, so after flip turn it will. Um, Dragonite. Dragonite, if it's missing HP from the Stealth Rocks, it Okos, just about. 75% chance to Oko. Actually, it'll, 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 it'll Oko. Um, Salamence. Doesn't Salamence have Intimidate too, so Ice Beam might be better? I, yeah, we go Ice Beam. We go Ice Beam. Yep. Yep. Actually, Ice Beam over Triple Axle. The only time Triple Axle is better is against the Iron Jugulus. But I can figure out a different thing for Iron Jugulus because it is a special attacker, right? So we might be able to just finagle. You need Axle for Garchomp for Sash? No, because my plan would just be to just flip turn on the Garchomp. I would just flip turn on the Garchomp. No, we don't need Ice Plate. It, that wouldn't make it enough for the Iron Jugulus anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. We just we just know that Feromosa defeats this whole team. The only thing we don't know is Dialga. Lands Pokemon League 2, close combat plus one does not take you out. That's crazy. Okay. So how am I taking out Lance Dialga with Rest Sleep Talk? That's literally gonna be Pace. This is gonna be protect, I think this is protect. I think this is protect Swords Dance. And we get a little lucky. We keep Drain Punch. Feels bad getting rid of surging strikes, but I think I think I get rid of surging strikes against this team. It's good against the iron jugulus. That's the only thing it's good against. I know Dialgo just roar of time. That's fine. My hope is obviously to SD before the Dialgo comes out. Let's actually see how much or how, 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 how. Roar of Time doesn't take me out. Perfect. Wow, plus two does nothing. Awesome. I really wish I had Seismic Toss right now. Us losing Seismic Toss is so bad, I cannot describe it. I cannot actually accurately describe it. Uh, yeah, so us losing Seismic Toss is like the, the, uh, it's, trust me, it's really, it's really might be just the loss. It might just be a loss from that, but it's okay, we're gonna figure it out. Um, we can finagle here. Doesn't do enough because you can just rest. You don't know that. You don't know that for real. You don't know that for real, for real. Um, Roar of Time is only APP. We're just gonna track that during the, the, the battle and we'll be fine. Uh, Rostagno, once again, honestly, this thing sets up and it sweeps everything except for the uh, Dialga and the Melmetal. So we have our Dialga and Melmetal answer in Earthquake from Hurtman. Right, that's gonna be really good. Uh, now we don't want to run wide lens anymore, so we're going to keep focus sash. <sighs> um, the only difference, what's the, what are the differences? It's just the Aerodactyl. Everything else is the same. Are there moves a little different? No. It's literally just the lead that's different. That's it. Okay, then, then we, I think then we're done prepping. Uh, Hurtman. We'll just have Liquidation in the Rain as its strongest move against things, against like uh, Iron Jugulus. Uh, Earthquake, obviously for Melmetal and Primal Dialga. And the Dragons. 
I'm just gonna swap out. Now the question is, we need to know for sure, when Dragonite D dances, it is still slower than Faramosa. When Salamence D dances, it is faster than Faramosa. That is a dagger. So when Salamence comes in, who the heck is my answer? I actually think Mens, because I don't have Sakara, I think Mens murders me. It would have to be Focus Ash. That's when we have to use our Focus Ash. But, but, if we verse the second team, the rocks are guaranteed up. We're done. We're cooked. We're actually cooked. Let's see how much Tapu Lele does to, dra to Salamence. Now, obviously, it's gonna suck if Roar of Time brings the car out. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out when it happens. Honestly. In fact, when I get in the battle, if there's, e oh, it'd be, a, it'd be a free switch in then. If it's an opportunity where I don't need the free switching, but I want to kill them on. That is true, the triple axle kills both leads. I take a lot of damage from the Garchomp. But I would have no rocks up. But then it's the same thing. I still I still don't have my focus sash. Right? I still don't have my focus sash. Protective Pad Faramosa, I still won't have my Focus Sash. <laughs> if I'm running Protective Pad Faramosa, I will not have my Focus Sash. Maybe we actually, I have an idea. Um, I think I get rid of Liquidation and we run Icy Wind. And it's not for the, just the damage on the Salamence, but it's for the speed control. Like, I might have to sack off Swampert. And if I do, it's, I mean, the rest of this is gonna be so hard. But, I think I get rid of Protect here. Am I okay with not having? Uh, here's the thing, now I'm in love with the idea of getting rocks up, but I won't get rocks up against Aerodactyl anyway. I can get rocks up against the Melmetal in, in that in that first fight. So, so maybe. Maybe we do lead this. Then we have to go wide lens. Because I can't risk missing. I hate that I can't just set up in front of the Aerodactyl with like a mental herb. There's just no way though. Like if I could run pay if I hold on. Wait, I might be onto something. No, I'm not. I'm not onto anything. And Salamence is not running any dragon type moves, so I can't really take advantage of the fact that I'm a fairy. Or I can go Air Balloon Lele, like our old strat is always Air Balloon with a fairy type is really cool. But red card Flutter, I w if I had red card, that's a really good idea. I mean Eject Button, if I have Eject Button, that's a good idea. But it's still not good. No, nah, because it's still free switching. Oh, now I need my AC on. I'm sweating bollocks here. Yes, I have to triple axel for no stealth rock, or if it's Aerodactyl, I can just lead Hurtman. And that'll still result in no stealth rocks. I'm honestly wondering if I should, if we do this, 
I need another Mon that I can focus Sash. Which might be Lele. Lele has the most likelihood of actually activating the, the focus Sash twice. Or not twice, you know what I mean. Actually saving it. My brain wants Pace to be the one to do it though. And have the focus Sash. But Lefty's Rain Dish is really strong. Is there a Mon that I can sub against? Will Roar of Time switch me out if I sub? I don't think it does. I actually don't think Roar of Time switches me out if I'm, if I'm behind a sub. Because Roar doesn't switch me out if I'm behind a sub. It does not switch me out behind a sub. Roar goes through sub. That's crazy. <sighs> I gotta keep your tech then. Okay. Um, I do really want Aqua Jet. Let's see how much Drain Kiss does to top. Uh, where's Tapu Lele? Tapu Lele Drain Kiss uh, does half. That's not. That's not Salamence. What am I doing? Draining Kiss does a large amount. All right, I think this is our only hope. It's gonna involve sacrificing someone though. Like, even if we did this, like, how do I get Restogno in against Mens for free? I literally cannot. Maybe a flip turn. Maybe Hurtman, because if it's, if it's healthy, Hurtman will be healthy. Thank you, Brock. Yeah, this is our, be this is our best. This is the best. Can I set up with Quiver Dance? I can't set up with Quiver Dance if Aerodactyl was the lead. I also cannot live Stone Edge. So, there's that. All right, that's our team. I must have taken too many of the special chocolates. I thought I saw a Brock there know that long a gap. Is Roar of Time sound based? I'm Googling it. Roar of Time isn't blocked by soundproof ability. There are regular attacks. That means it's substitute will work. And that means, do I go Aqua Jet instead? I think I go Aqua Jet instead of Surging Strikes. I'd love to bulk up. It might have been changed in Radical Red. I'm not sure. We'll find out today, won't we? Protect, not sub. Oh, this really sucks. I have to run protect. Do I run Aqua Jet? I want to run another move. Aqua Jet's the best thing I got. Aqua Jet in the rain at plus six will still do L2 a KO anything, right? Um, I do need to. I I think I need to run protect. I need all these moves. It's either sub or protect. Those are the only two options. I want protect because I'm going to be switching into flip turns. I mean, uh, flash cannons with the Lele. Yeah, I got to run protect. And I got to PP max you. Absolutely. Um, now we're rescheduling the meeting for tomorrow. No stress, right, guys. Don't worry about my. I got me. I got me. Okay. So, Blissey, obviously, uh, you're going to run not Thunderbolt. You're going to run Ice Beam. Or Icy Wind, actually. We definitely run Icy Wind on you to catch a good switch in. 
That could end up being clutch, honestly. It's obviously not damage at all, so I will PP max it. All right, that's our team. We're going in. We're going in. That's our team. <sighs> Let's see who we see. Guys, there's steak waiting for me upstairs. I'm gonna eat it if we beat Lance. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna eat it no matter what. But I'm gonna eat it with you guys if we beat Lance. Okay. This is it. Alright, it's, it's the second team, unfortunately. No, we got the preferable team last time, Manny. Iron Jug comes out. Okay. Interesting. Booster energy is going to increase your special attack. I'm faster than you and triple axle KOs. I don't... I'm so confused as to why you did this. I also don't even know if I want to risk it. I kind of want a U-turn. You're either going Aeroblast or Flamethrower. If I U-turn onto Krishna, Dark Hole puts someone to sleep though, and that's so annoying if Blissey gets put to sleep. I mean, this, this I have to, there's no rocks up, so I have to triple axle. <sighs> wow. All right, well, you decided to, to do something different now. Um, close combat doesn't take you out. Double Iron Bash takes me out. So I U-turn. And we go out into Rastagna. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I guess it would be Hurtman. On the Double Iron Bash. Crazy. Um, I don't really want to EQ into a flying type. I'd rather just, well, I'm faster, aren't I? If I flip turn, who can I go out into to eat the strongest move you have? Because there's a really good chance you swap out here. Mel Metal. Who's left? It's just Salamence and Dialga. Rocks doesn't matter for Dialga at all. It matters for Mence, obviously, a little bit. Um, I feel like Lance switches here. I kind of want to Icy Wind, but I think I would rather Mega Swapper. 
flip turn does 32%. I'm obviously faster. Uh, that'd be pretty bad if he swaps. If, if he swaps, okay, let's think about this the way. If he swaps in the Mence, what do I do? That's what we should be thinking about, because that's worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is he swaps in the Mence as I EQ. So if he does that, let's 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 play through that scenario. Um, he swaps in, he's gonna click D-Dance. And then, so I should just Icy Wind. He doesn't swap out. Yeah, that's pretty rough. All right, 291. Okay, it does a lot. It honestly does a lot. Uh, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm, I think I'm actually gonna go for the Stealth Rock here. Now that I see all this. I go down to a crit and I can't have that, so I have to flip turn. Okay. Double Iron Bash. I go right into the Blissey. Uh, Mel Metal. Somehow reads me and goes for EQ. Incredible. Incredible individual. It's fine. I protect. As you thunder punch. I wish I had sub right here. 259. Okay. Thunder Punch does not take me out. I can Drain Punch to make sure of that. Or I can SD here. I think the best play is theoretically SD because I want to recover maximum HP. Um, and Drain Punch doesn't Oko. Massive. All right, we protect again for more la more recoveries. Now the dream punch takes you out. Yup. Rain dish. All right, Mens comes out. Shiny! Oh, I'm screwed. I didn't know he was shiny. I didn't know he was shiny, dude. That's so bad. That's so bad for me, dude. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I can't believe he he did that. That's crazy. Um. All right, double edge comes out every time, right? I don't protect because I just don't, I don't protect. Actually, what do I do here? Oh, we always, we always gone through a Stagna. We always gone through a Stagna here. Dude, this is a different Salamence! This isn't the same Salamence! Radical Red Devs, this is a different Mence. I call hacks, he broke species. He broke species.
All right, the, the, the recoil will put him in range. And we go. You guys almost didn't want me to bring this thing, by the way. Not all of you. All right. <clears throat> now comes what I call the obnoxious land. Protect on the flash cannon. We go out into Krishna on the flash cannon. <sighs> All right, so we've got flash cannon two. We have roar of time zero for now. I'm tracking. I'm literally tracking. Uh, we will go ahead and thunder wave immediately. And a full para immediately, kind of a W. Okay. We stay in regardless and we start icy winding. Now, if this was seismic toss, this would be free. Burr of time, one. We eat it. Urshifu, actually kind of perfect. All right, we gotta, we, we, I think we just gotta take a hit and we drain punch. Let me just think about this. What's the, what's the safest, safest path to victory? Okay, Roar of Time does not take me out, so we should just Drain Punch. Actually, I actually should protect and hope that for no para and just for a Roar of Time. Roar of Time, use twice. I almost get Zesty, but we just Drain Punch. All right, that's three. Okay. I don't know what the solution is here. I think the solution is... Yes, this thing is dead. Um, you know what, you know what actually the solution is? This actually helped him. Uh, I didn't help him. It's the same thing. So no matter who I swapped into, I was always going into Blissey. No matter who, if anything, this hurts me. Blissey's like, I, I would always go into Blissey. No matter what. So I think that that, like, I, I'm fine with that. There's nothing I can do about it. I remember last time this happened, the same exact thing happened, and then I did a save state, beat Lance, and then I went back and did it again, and, and we just happened to get lucky and it didn't get thrown in. Um, okay, let's go for a soft boiled here. Uh, fourth roar of time. Watch, okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go for protect. All right, there's the full para. Uh, there's no access to the PC in Elite Four. Yeah, you can't box it. If it, die, if it dies in the run, it dies in the run, like in the Elite Four. All right, we go, we go out, we go back into Blissey. We will always go out into Blissey. That's why it doesn't really matter. There we go, there we go, there we go. W, W, W. Lefty's recovery. Use a little bit of speed up here. That's Icy Wind. Roar of time number five. 
I think we're out of time. I'm, I'm assuming we're out of time. I have to check it actually. Alga Primal. Roar of Time. Oh, Roar of Time has 10 PP, so it has 16. Ooh, wait, though, are you in range? <sighs> You're not in range. Oh, I wish. Wait. That looks like it was in range. That looked like a range. All right, this is perfect. I'm gonna soft. Uh, I'm not gonna soft boiled yet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna icy win. It was a roll. It was a roll. I did plus one myself in the damage calcs. Yes. All right, right back in the Pharah. Come on, Pharah. Come on, Pharah. Big money, big money. Green, 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 green. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, that's not right. That was the sixth roar of time. Everyone say six. Uh, we protect here. Actually, it's gonna be flash cannon, right? So we never protect. We just go out into Blissey. Actually, we do protect. <sighs> okay. Um, we go out into Krishna. Okay. I will soft boiled here. This is Roar of Time number seven. Anyone can say seven. Anyone can say seven. Look at that HP. Sheesh. All right, number seven, number seven, number seven. Lurkers, drop your sevens. Now's the perfect time. Hermosa, come on, dude. We just gotta hit it. We just gotta hit it, dude. We just gotta hit it. I protect again on a fifth flash cannon or a full para. Yep, fifth flash cannon. Blissmas on the flash cannon. It's beginning to look a lot like Blissmas. I'm actually gonna soft boil early in case we activate the um, anti-cheat clause. And I don't wanna do that. Just get me Pheromos and we're good. We're so good. Actually, yeah, Pheromos only. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, well, right back in the blissy we go. Oh, I see when. Uh, nine, nine, nine. Can a Dialga's Roar of Time activate anti cheat? I don't think so. Please, Pharaoh please, Pharaoh please. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, Sakara. the full power. Okay, we icy win. Like literally, honestly, at this point, even Swamper, Swamper takes you out. Just, just go to Swamp. It's literally hurting me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I said to say his name loud enough. Lance is no more! I'm making a save state. We just have to remember to not save anymore. Okay. All right, it's one final battle, and it's not random team. So we just need to be better. We just need to be better. We don't have our chlorophyll Sakara for this, though. Bye, Queen. Have a great day at work. All right, the question is, do I want rocks? 
Because Hurtman could probably set up rocks. Oh, I gotta get my steak. Hold on. We're gonna eat steak while we prep. Massive W steak. Come on now, one and done. No way I catch this thing. We're gonna be here for a minute. This is Articuno all over again. This time we're gonna get lucky. Oh my gosh! We got lucky! We got lucky! Oh, I might pass out. Oh my gosh. Not yeah, that means someone gave us money. You cannot subscribe say thank yourself. you. Thank if you volunteer for this here, you position, say this now, you, you say, must any Dodgers? On stream Monday any through Dodgers? Friday when I'm live. If you're not here, how it feels to chew five gum. Uh -huh. It only has a 6.3% chance to Oko, but I won't do it because I think this thing has. What? No! Whoa! Yes! 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 All right, we got steak, we got prep. We just need to know what moves you need to do. That's it. Okay, here we go. Get your poggers on, here it comes. Oh. No way! Holy! What do we do? Who do we, what do we evolve hey, it into? Hey. Been watching since XY Road to rank. Thanks. What's no. the sub goal to no. shave only no! half the beard? All right. So. The Ditto is terrifying. Ditto transforming into my Feromosa is actually terrifying. I think we need protect on everyone. I think we need protect on everyone. Right? So here's the turn one options that I'm thinking of. It's either, no matter what, it's Hurtman. It's either flip turn Hurtman. Or stealth rock Hurtman. It's just a fillet. Please don't get in a rack rage. <clears throat> I don't know how switchy this goober's gonna be, but If on turn one, Feromosa goes for U-turn. <sighs> getting rocks, that would be really nice, but getting switch initiative is also really nice. But getting rocks up makes sure that later, it's useless. Steak at 3 p.m. I haven't eaten anything yet, and this was leftover from last night, so I'm eating it. Odds, I haven't eaten anything today. Why are you being unkind? 
I usually have leftover dinner for lunch, and this was steak. I do wonder if the heavy rain is going to stop the Oracle Compulse. I do not know. I think it should. Um... I think... We don't mega. Let's see, 25% of the Veltal is nice, but it's not like necessary. Cause my answer, we finally have to run Toxic. I finally have to run Toxic. Do I run Toxic over T-Wave? Cause T-Wave has been like, T-Wave has been the play. It has been the move. Like, speed control has just been everything. I'm pretty tempted to run no attacking moves, Krishna. I am gonna do that. I am gonna do that. I'm gonna run no attacking moves, Krishna. I'm gonna PP up everything, because there's gonna be a there's gonna be a time where I'm gonna have to like um like gargle. You know? I'm gonna have to gargle. Because they're not being able to attack. And just let the toxic stall on your belts all do its job. And on Eternatus, I Thunderwave. Now. Here's the only problem. If I can't do any damage to the Eternatus, I think the Eternatus can actually sweep me. So I can't run both. Unless I decide to not run Teleport. Which actually might be the play. Because he... Yeah. I think so. But once Eternatus is paralyzed, let's see. Eternatus. Once you're parried, Earthquake does take you out if you have a little bit of damage on you. Crud. I don't know. I need T-Wave. Is that true? I could Icy Wind you instead. Two Icy, you know what? I run Icy Wind over T-Wave. I run Icy Wind over T-Wave. The only button I'm gonna be able to, you know, it stinks though, cause like, there's a chance that it switches out the Eveltal against my Blissey, and like, if, it, if they do that. I'm gonna wish I could just T-Wave something on the Switch. But I'm gonna be going for Toxic. True. Okay. We go Icy Wind. Over T-Wave, because I need Toxic for Evel Tom. I also really don't think that I run. I'm looking, I just don't think I run Teleport. Well, the only reason I run Teleport is so for Eternatus, I teleport into my 
Um, oh my gosh, Dead Yancy with the 10 gifted members for our longest stream since 1912. Thank you so much, Dead Yancy, for your support. I appreciate that a ton. Are there any Dodgers? <sighs> I run Icy Wind. I run teleport so that I can teleport into my, but I only run teleport if I'm running Thunder Wave. True. No, because Icy Wind. Untrue. Protect is just so good though. And T-Wave has been a saver too. I don't know. I'm really at a loss. Dude, they used to call me Lost Quinn. I think I need T wave. Eugene, thanks for the four months. Is it true that Amazon is offering primary health care to Prime members for nine bucks? There's no way. That would be incredible. Maybe the answer really is I don't run teleport. I'm only teleporting in that one situation. Let's see how much Icy Wind does to Eternatus. That's what I should be looking at. Maybe I don't need to teleport. Big truck, thank you for the five gifted. Okay, it's a slow burn. And you'll be at plus one. But I do eventually win against Eternatus. I do eventually win against Eternatus. Thank you, Big Truck. Don't forget to thank your gifters. So if that's the case, I don't need to go with Teleport. I can go with Thunder Wave. I, th I think I agree with that. I think I agree with that. All right, Blissey, Blissey is set up. We're gonna open frame one. No Meg Evolve or I think Meg Evolve. I just don't wanna get rid of my Primordial C if I'm honest with you, that's the problem. That's the real problem. I don't wanna get rid of my prim Primordial C. Like if I, if, I don't, I don't want Oracalcum to close to come out and then it overrides primordial, primordial C because I'm not currently on the field anymore. I feel like that's what'll happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and just flip turn. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna stay on on Mega Evolve and I think I'm going to Stealth Rock. Who would come in against me? Most likely Coridon, right? Coridon, well Coridon would, but then I would definitely override it. So maybe it's gonna be Eveltal with Dark, uh, with with Dark Hole. Thank you, Mr. Silk, appreciate that. But I think setting up the Stealth Rocks is still correct because the Pheromosa is most likely U-turning. Okay. Beast moves. Actually, let's just look at this first. Icy Wind. Stealth Rock. Earthquake. Flip turn. That's fine. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Close combat. Ice Beam. We don't need Ice Beam anymore. I don't need Poison Jab, though, really. Close combat, I probably won't protect. Because you don't really get many other things. Although you know what could be good? I'm, I'm the fastest thing in the world. And maybe running the move that, um, that lowers attack could end up being super clutch. Close combat's like really bad in this matchup, except for the Coridon. And Triple Axel's better. So like, I, I there, there's actually no reason to even run close combat. I almost run Tot, no. No. We're not that crazy. Oh, come on, Blissey. 
Ah, uh, no, that's... I'm seeing the stars. I'm seeing the stars. I'm seeing the stars. I'm seeing the stars. Stop it. Okay. I think that's fine. Rostagno, we don't want you to have focus sesh anymore. We are giving that to... Yeah. I think I have to risk it all, for sure. Having the, having the focus sesh is gonna be really clutch. Uh, and then we're gonna go pixie plate. Okay. Protect, Drain Kissed, Moonblast, Calm Mind. I still, am I setting up Calm Mind against anything in here? No, I'm definitely not. So is there any other move I can run? Like even like, I don't know, Thunderbolt for Eveltal? I oh, know Moonblast is gonna be better. I, d I don't think I'm clicking Calm Mind against anything here. Ditto, maybe? Yeah, maybe ditto. Yeah, I could see that. I guess for that one fringe instance, it might be worth. Charge beam is hype. Maybe we run a second status, sir. You don't get Willow. You do get Thunder Wave, though. You don't get Thunder Wave. I, I lied. I really thought you did. Um. Wait, did you learn overheat? No. Okay. Reflecto's kind of hard. Uh, it could be well, Thunderbolt's kind of pointless. Um. Wow, I really don't have that many good moves. I think it's calm line. Do I get rid of protect? Do I get rid of Moonblast? Oh, I might need Moonblast to take out the Evel Tall if, if I'm in a dire straight, but honestly, I should never be in that straight. If I'm in that straight, I lose, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, so I get, I get rid of Moonblast. We keep protect because uh, it just is a good move. If the Ditto comes out, we can see what he locks himself into and, and adjust accordingly. You can't comment against Crydon. Um, you know, with the rain, I, I mean, I, can't, I, I might be able to. I might be able to. Okay. I think we do that. Pace. Aqua Jet priority, definitely. Swords Dance, definitely. Uh, drain Punch. So we get Wall by Eternatus. So Eternatus needs to go for sure. But I think all the rest of this is like the best that I can do. Dream Punch is neutral and Veltol neutral and Metagross. I think it's fine. What mons are alive? All five of these with items. Only Sakara is gone. I think this is our team. I think this is the end of the run one way or the other. No matter what, the first Dex Nav of 4.0 that we did, we made it to the champion. And I want to be proud of that. I want to be proud of that. I'm still not sure if Stealth Rock is the right play up front, but uh, I feel like they're going to U-turn and I really want to break that sash later on. I think I saved too, so I don't have that save state anymore. I'm pretty sure I already saved, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh well. All right, here we go. Doesn't matter, I have an idea. All right, Primordial C. We Stealth Rock, frame one. CCs, oh no, that means it's big damage. That means it's more than half. Yep, yep, I sold. I sold by not megging. All right, it's CC again. I 
I go into her stock, no, you're gonna poison jab. Aramosa. I'm gonna recover all my health with Draining Kiss, obviously. I do survive anyone move, though. Okay, we're going to Restogno here. Okay. So the drink is here. Yes, Pharaoh is sashed, guys. Pharaoh is sashed. I didn't realize just how much extra damage that would do. I just really wanted to save Hurtman, but you know what? That might have been the fatal flaw. That might have been the fatal flaw to this run. No P word, thankfully. All right, we can drain Kiss. Pharaoh down. Rocks are up, Pharaoh is down. Show me Ditto. No, you show me, Met it's gonna be Metagross every time, obviously, right? It's Metagross every time. All right. All right, it's Mega Metagross every time. We're going for Bullet Punch. I actually think I'm so screwed. If, if I'm gonna go down because of my blunder, I wanna at least get the answer. I think we sack off Hurtman. If I sack off Hurtman, who's my answer for Metagross? Aramosa, Metagross. Plus when U-Turn does not do as much as I would think. I need to save Rastogno for Crydon. I can't go out into Beast. I can go out into Pace, technically, with Lefty's Recovery Protect on the Zen Headbutt. But technically, I think Swampert's the correct play here. I really should have just Mega Evolved and Flip Turned. Do you have any setup? You have no setup. It's always protect. You have no setup, it's always protect. Right, bullet punch. Now, if we look at... I need Rastogna for that, for that dragon fighting. And I get all my HP back. All right, it's gotta be Hurtman. Sorry, Swampert. Sorry, Swampy. It's all me. It's all me. Okay. Green is up. I think we have to go into Beast. I really don't, I really don't have a good answer for this now. That was such a fumble, man. It's, it might be savable. It might be savable. Okay, pace. Pace. 
Haste can survive his end headbutt. The most damage I'm going to be doing is going to be with Drain Punch. Krishna, any help against a Mega Metagross? No. No, it's not. I'm just gonna slip you this King's Rock paste. Just gonna slip you a little King's Rock here. Just a tiny little King's Rock. I want you to take that, I want you to use it. I really want you to use it, all right? I want you to use it right now. Use it! Use the King's Rock! Fletch him! All right, chat, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right, plus one. CC. <sighs> didn't need the crit. Didn't need the crit. Shut your mouth, chat. We didn't need the crit. I calc it. Did 60%. 60 to 70. This is an interesting turn of events. Uh, I'm faster than you. And like, the, the sun did not come out, so I definitely could have make a turn one and I could have been so fine. This would have such a free win. If I knew how the mechanics worked, we would have been fine. Okay. It, so the way that I think this works is it sees the KO on everything, right? It sees it can KO me no matter what. So it does not go for SD. So I go for triple axle and I open my freaking eyes. The shiny is so cool, by the way. I don't think I've ever seen it in any form. Open your eyes. Open your eyes! Does it take you out? Oh, you have to rocks. It takes you out. After stealth rocks. Get out! Eternatus. Takes the rocks damage, yeah you do, you don't got any boots on you, you're putting pressure out there, I don't like that. I forgot about that. I mean, technically Triple Axel. Triple Axel has a chance to do it. I think it's better for me to U-turn. I gotta save my sash in case the ditto ends up coming in on my uh, Pharaoh, even though it can go for triple axe and I'll cry. <sighs> okay. So every time here I go for T-Wave. It's fine, Dynam Dynamax all over me, I dare you. I dare you to Dynamax all over me, my wife is watching. Icy wind. I saw it boil. That's fine. That's like best case scenario. Are you kidding me? Please do something. I think I should T-wave this every time. Over. 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 That's fine. 
Uh, toxic here. Ah. Uh. I'm asleep. Oh no, I'm not asleep. I thought Dark Hole. Oh, it has a chance to put you to sleep. Ooh. All right, I'm slowing down now. Sorry. Oh, shield dust, Blissey can't be put to sleep. <laughs> Baby! When you're on one, you're just on one! Krishna does not care! He turns his back. I saw Boyle, baby. Cannon all you want, baby. Chat wants Shady win, so he's going to fork over the money. Huh? Chat? Huh? Plus he just takes it. Plus he just takes it. Plus he takes the whole thing. Krishna! Now you know why in that mod vid I had so much pain when my Blissey died and struggled to death. Because Blissey is a champion level Pokemon. A champion level Pokemon. I want you to remember this moment, chat, in the future when I'm long gone, that you challenged me and goaded me into doing something. And not only am I prone to bullying, but I won. I won because I don't lose. I don't lose! Asterisk, as long as I have Blissey. I don't lose! First try! First try! Come on, that's right. Yup. Absolutely, Premier. Thank you for the 10 gifted members. Absolutely, yup. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this is a perfect time to announce that I will be doing a Radical Red Soul Link with my boy Dylan. Dads being dudes. If you thought this one was challenging, wait till it's Soul Linked with someone who is not being Radical Red yet. Huge thing for the five as well. I appreciate it. Oh, shoe with the 10 gifted members as well. Thank you so much. Nothing but claps in chat. Sakara with the 10 gifted as well. Oh my goodness. Uh, Saren, thank you for the 20 spot. Swift Ban. Nixon with the 50. Why? Do this for you. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to keep up. Rachel with the 20. You're supposed to be driving. Cardinal with the 20, you're supposed to be driving! Uh, Kevin Bowden with the 50, Durst and Nuke with the 50. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna need help, I'm gonna need a mod's help. I'm absolutely gonna need help. This is insane. Yeah, I'm gonna need help. Absolutely. You've grown up so much since you first left with your starter. Shady, you've come of age. Misty with the 50 gifted! Well, chat. First time deck snap, and some of you doubted me. Some of you doubted me. Clay, thanks for becoming a platinum penguin among all this. Johnny, thank you for the 10 as well. Vinny, thank you for the 10. Triple J, thank you for the 20. Literally has done it. Luden, thank you for the 10. Big Truck, thank you for the 10 as well. Patter says he was never a doubter, always a believer. Always a believer. Never doubted once, not once. This is our team, Swampert Beast, the Feromosa, Krishna the Carry, 07 in chat for Swampert, 07 in chat for our Miss Mage, our Fluttermane, and I think, I think Urshifu died as well. Cap Tan Tan, thank you for the 10 gifted. Steffi, thank you so much for the 20. We had to let Urshifu go down as well, so there were casualties along the way, but you know what? We did it. Zoo, thanks for the 10 gifted. Onyx, thanks for the 10 gifted. Rachel, for going to Platinum for four months. Thank you so much. Jude, with the five gifted. Thank you so much. Krishna and Beast were the MVPs, no doubt. No doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nate just sent me five dollars on Apple Pay. Said mobile, so I can't super chat. Get yourself something nice. That's comedy. Misty with the fifty gifted. Misty, thank you so much for the fifty. That is crazy. Lion, thank you for the five spot. Guys, don't forget to thank your gifters among all of the chaos. That's right. Pokemon Fire Red version has been deleted, yeeted, and skeeted. First try with the Dexnav rule set. 
What the heck are we gonna do next? Is my career over? Well, I'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I really don't know. Uh, we will have members only. We have another Radical Red. If you like Radical Red randomizers, they're still going on. We have our members only going up tonight. I'm going to go record that uh, probably after my father-in-law's birthday party. So that'll be fun. Uh, I just need to record, record a little bit more of it, and then we'll be good. Tax. Yes, Nicely absolutely. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yep. Thank you so much, Ludens, again for the 10 gifted. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and trust that everyone that bullied me has learned their lesson, and they will never bully me again. That's what I'm going to trust. Big truck, there's your 10 on screen. I'm gonna go ahead and trust that. Clay, thank you for the 10 gifted members as well. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, it feels great to win. Not gonna lie, very rare for me in my life. So it feels great to win. Massive W. Honestly, every day with you guys is a win. I love, I've been loving streaming on YouTube so much. You guys always turn up, turn out, and keep your pants on. It's really good because I don't want to get in trouble. Eruption, thank you for the 10 and gifted as well. I appreciate that a ton. Now I'm a winner. Now I can sleep in a bed with my wife. Actually fantastic. Actually fantastic. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Joe, thanks for the four months. Yup. Any yuppers in chat? Any yuppers? Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out again uh, to all of my bullies that pushed me on. Thank you, chat. Let's That's most of chat. You guys are mostly my bullies. Thank you so much. Thank you for everyone that honored their word. We don't have right, to do the Dex Nav run. We don't have to do the dex nav run for the punishment, but, but, however, Samurai, you think for the 10 gifted as well. Would you guys ever be interested in doing that run anyway, without the punishment, where you guys get to choose my encounter every single route? Because I kind of like that idea. Like, I, I think it sounds like fun even without the punishment. Huge thank you for the five gifted on top. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you. I think we can start that next week. I know maybe some of you guys are tired of Radical Red. I love Radical Red so much. So I think doing uh, doing a run of normal where you have to choose my encounters and try to screw me over is fun. I think that's fun. Because I'm going to end up getting garbage Pokemon. I will never get a Blissey. I will literally never get a Blissey, so I won't beat the game. But I will get far, hopefully. We'll see. I don't know. I really do not know. Uh, I have to pee so bad. And I don't really have anything else planned for today. We got a six hour stream in the books. So we're gonna go ahead and call it there. Guys, tomorrow we will be live with Baldur's Gate with my sister at 2 p.m. Come hang out. Like I said, members only tonight. We'll have another video on Monday. We're also gonna have another stream on Monday starting our You Choose Dex Nav run. I'm calling it the You Choose. That's right, I just made that up now. I'm pretty smart. With that though, I do wanna thank our top gifters. These might not be updated right now because of all the chaos, but we're gonna pretend they are. Uh, Kevin Bowen with 100 gifted members. That's crazy. There's a new 50. Misty with Nikki. Nixon with Nick, uh, 50 as well. Thank you guys so much. Samurai Chu, Furs, Dead Yancy, David, Eruption, and Rachel B. And so many others that gifted, super chatted, and supported in one way or another. Uh, will I still name the player chat? Yes, I will go ahead and name the player chat since you guys are choosing the Mons. I think that'll I be fun. Thank you, Which Kevin. Could donate more for how Stop much it. No, your you're fine. Martin's. You're so Stay fine. You Thank you guys for all your support. I am going to get the hashtag out of here and eat some pizza in a little while. Not right the second because it just had steak, but in an hour or two. I don't know. I'm going to stuff some dough and sauce in my teeth. Thank you for everything. This is the end of our time together. I won't see you again. Just kidding. That's really morbid. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep it shady. Bye, guys. Thank you, Refugee. I love it. Thank you so much. That's super cool.